Oh What's up, God. guys? Welcome back to the Quarter Digital Podcast episode. Insert number here. 153, says Christian. Thank you for keeping us on point. Today, we're talking about AI pictures. Why? Well, it's because apparently, well, Joe here apparently yeah. is an AI god. No, 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 no. <laughs> demigod. AI demigod. Listen, well, this... Look, we've been talking about all this stuff over the last week. Stable diffusion, a, a dolly, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but Nico described you to me as like, you're the guy who who will stop the actual devs from working on their models if you have a tech support question. <laughs> uh, because that's how, how deep you have gotten into this stuff. I mean, I know Nico's gotten in real deep too. I've seen some crazy stuff, oh, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to talk about this. This stuff. is this is us. Uh, how long do we have? 30 minutes to convince you to get as much into it as we are. And that and I can see your face already. I can see it. Oh, I'm into it. And, okay. No, <laughs> you're not. Reluctantly. You're not. You need to. You're right. Okay. I'm obsessed I'm, with it. I'm not. Like, I'm not know. obsessed. And it's mostly the backlog of other things I got to do first <laughs> yes. before I can get obsessed. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> so so you know it, this kind of brings me to the like kind of first thing because. For some people, a present company included, this is like life changing stuff, right? Yeah. And for some people, it's like I show them, like I'm like, look, you asked for like a blue octopus, like Star Wars ship, and I made it in like 30 seconds, and they're like, oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. And like, it's like a party trick. Um, mm -hmm. So for you, which one is it? Uh, yeah, it's clip art. It's clip art. <laughs> uh -huh. It's like a search engine kind of. Eh? It's yeah, yeah. It's it's cool, but it's also like. I mean, I'm literally working on this like D&D &D show right now. Yeah. So I'm like, OK, uh, wouldn't it be funny if there's like an oil painting of one of these characters when they like talk about it? Like we'll show it on screen so I, I can generate one. Yeah. And, th and that's nice. Yeah. I, I, I enjoy that element of it. But even still, it's like still hard where it's like telling an AI to generate like a detailed like you, you can only tell to do one thing. And it goes mm -hmm. like, all right, I'll take all this and make one thing out of it. You can't you still can't go like, hey, it needs to specifically like embody a few things like yeah holding a, an object and this is what he's wearing right, and right, this right. is where he is it's kind of yeah. like whoa 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 we're just gonna kind of you know blend all that together <laughs> and like so i still have you know issues with it but yeah back to the point no i mean is, it kind of is good to hear it kind of feel well it is kind of like clip art in a way right now yeah. but that's all but that's only because you know people like are only impressed with like what you can do with it well, you know, as, as we feel, learned, I, that's what I think. As we learned from the ancient Egyptians, clip art is just the precursor to a fully developed writing system. That, well, yeah. I don't know if that's what they taught us, but sure, that's what you maybe. Know, hieroglyphics. Yeah. Clip art. Yeah. I had the same experience though. I had access to Mid Journey when it came out, and then I was like, yeah. "Whoa!" I had some people at my house like, "Check this out! This is crazy!" And I was yeah, like, yeah. "All right, well, cool, neat, yeah. right? That's cool, yeah. cool colors." Yeah. <laughs> my my so wife calls did it uh, my mistress. <laughs> uh, and I made her like a beautiful picture, uh, AI kind of sort of generated, took one of her images and et cetera, et cetera. And she goes, oh, did you have your mistress make our like <laughs> our anniversary photo? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I, I, well, yes. But this actually yeah. brings up a question that I was going to say for later, but let's just jump into it right now. Let's do it. All right. This is, this is going to be the hot take section of this podcast. So Ooh. everybody heard about that one AI image that won that state fair art yeah. contest. Yeah, there was that article. Yeah, mm -hmm. everybody heard about that. And it's one of those things where like, I hear about that and like, it's cool. It's a fun novelty like news article. And I guess it's a little bit of a sign of the times, but it's like, it's such a like misreporting of the news in a sense of like how big what's actually happening is happening like behind yeah. the scenes, you know, it's just like, it's a little story that everybody gets and it's mm -hmm. digestible, but it's not really haha, -ha, someone won a contest. It's like, by the way, like industry shifting tools are coming, are literally dropping faster than we can keep up with them yeah. over the past like two months here. but. What constitutes, in your guys' opinion, what constitutes art when it comes to AI art? Because, Shoot. yeah. You, you're getting real quick in there, my gosh. Yeah, we're just going uh, right I, in. I need to warm up, man. Uh, <laughs> here's, here's my two cents. Please. AI art is only going to matter when it's real time. Mm. Like, like dynamic, so to speak. Like right now, it's fast to generate images. But like that's the idea of, of like it, it only for me becomes like a thing where it's like here's like true like purpose and value is when it's something dynamic where it's like you're playing ai dungeon like that game basically brief explanation was it's a like a it's like a text based game where you're entering in prompts and it's giving you a story mm -hmm. and you're like you know do you say oh pick up the shovel or walk to the castle and it gives you like a a continuation of that storyline 
Um, right now with like the AI art, it's like, cool, you can have an AI make a mock-up or a concept for you, but the moment it's like this static, lifeless thing, you know, it's kind of like, cool, you're just, you know, making just cheap, you know, it's like, the, it's like the, you know, it's like, do you, do you want an Apple branded iPhone cable? Yeah. Or do you want the 99 cent knockoff that's going to mm. break, you know? And so it's mm. like, it's, it turns art into that in a sense where you're like, okay, cool. This is the Amazon version of art, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. but but that being said, it's like, oh, man, if you were playing a game and it's like, dude, check this out. Here's a game. Here's a game for you to play. <laughs> Here. Was it up? See, uh, so that was trained on old Pokemon footage, right? Uh, f like footage uh, of, of gameplay. Uh, and it like, oh, it's whenever, what the hell? Right? <laughs> right? Yeah, like it's super weird, right? It's like a nightmare in Pokemon game. It is, right? It's like when, when you play Pokemon, like when I played Pokemon too much, and then I went to go to sleep and I was still like playing Pokemon. Like, th this is what it is, right? It's like yep. a weird nightmare. Oh, dream. this is crazy. It's like, yeah, it's like just going. It's right. And like, well, it took okay, me forever so, to like walk into the like forest. You could do that. And then it like tries to figure it out. Made yeah. by, oh, okay. If you want to check out this, this crazy thing that I'm seeing right now, it's made by, it's called M A D E B Y O L L dot I N. That's the site it's on. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I've just sent this link. On. Anyways, we got a link. Maybe we'll post it somewhere. But okay, so it's not like actually a game technically, but it's right? it's like it doesn't know that it's, it's real a game. time AI, like an actual model that's like yeah. generating unique images as you're like walking around in it. Right. But but the, yeah, but even, even still, like okay, here now we're bringing it to life. It's like in this world where you can make anything based on these prompts. You can say anything. It's like well, yeah. It's like I feel like you wanna you wanna experience. It's it's fun when it's it's like a surprise or it's yeah. like happening. But like when you can type in anything you want, mm -hmm. I don't know. Sometimes you're just kind of like, ah, well, you know, there's something about seeing AI images where it's like, they're not that exciting, but there are some that are exciting. And I think it just brings to mind, like you had this quote back when we were in college, Sam, where like anything can be art, but not art. Isn't anything, you know, you have to take something and put intent and ideation into it to turn it into art, but yeah. anything can be art. Once you take it and you turn it into art, so yeah, to speak. Yeah, basically. But you can't just, like, literally, everything isn't just art by default. And it's, like, same thing with, like, AI images. Like, you can type in a prompt and get a cool picture. You can spend an hour refining your prompt and getting mm -hmm. a really cool picture. But neither of those necessarily make you a great artist or a good artist. Like, I'm not trying to say, like, you can't be an artist doing that. Yeah. But, like, once you find, like, a really cool idea or you've managed to deliver a cool concept, even if you're just typing a prompt and getting a result, that's when like the art starts to be created where it's like, okay, here's a thought, here's an idea, here's a feeling yeah. that I'm going to make you feel like that's when you start to step from, I'm just prompting a picture and rolling the dice and getting pretty anime girl number 5,263 <laughs> from the machine. Listen, and the waifus, they are really important for this. <laughs> you can space, tell where okay? like everybody's priorities are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the anime yeah. girls are honestly why we are making as much progress as God we damn. are. We are. We really are. I mean, it's true. It's, <laughs> it is the, true. You know, pornography and anime girls. Uh, those two separate things sometimes, two same things sometimes. But it was, you know, the, the number of programs that I have called waifu on my computer yep. uh, is three, but it is higher than what I would have imagined. Like, <laughs> or two weeks what I ago. really would have wanted. <laughs> yeah, man, <laughs> god damn it, god damn it, god um, damn it. But you know, what's interesting is, uh, you know, I think that for such a long time, we have, you know, back to your like question about like the, the state fair being won by some some computer, right? Mm -hmm. right? And people being like, oh, uh, since Pixar came out, you know, it was like, oh, to this day, people just say, oh, that's just computers. Mm -hmm. You both know that that's not the case, right? right? Like it's uh, basically like a, a puppetry inside of a, a computer, yeah. right? Uh, who cares if it's digital or not? Well, so, so you're talking about prompt masters again. Yes, right? So like. <laughs> prompt lords. <laughs> oh, prompt. Prom queens, or prom queens. Yes. But like uh, for for us, for such a long time, we've defined being human for many people, being human as b like making art. Mm -hmm. Art is the thing that distinguishes us. And like when when uh, uh, an elephant grabs a paintbrush and starts making whatevers, that's a big deal. And you know, you have all of these people being like, "That's not real art, by the way. That's just like it's just doing that for <laughs> he's trying to, he's, he's pulling on the tail and makes the elephant do it. Right? There's no like there's, there's Copy bars don't care about sonnets, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, then is it maybe it's levels of art? Because you know, it's like because yeah. once again, like at face value here, what is the artistry? It's like knowing when to type on Real Engine Five. You know, <laughs> that's like the gag. Well, that's that's not the artistry. That's that's the technician. That's the craftsman. Because so, there's always a difference between the artist and the craftsman. Well, and very yeah. much they overlap. 
Okay, but sure. one is technique and the other one is the actual idea. Well, have you seen My Kid Could Paint That, that documentary about mm. like this four year old girl, six year old girl, whatever, however old she was. And she did drip paintings. Um, and it's the whole mess of like some people being like, she's a prodigy. And some people being like, she's dripping some stuff onto a canvas. She's not a real artist. She's just a kid. Well, I guess that's the thing. It's like, are there are there barriers or levels of artistry? You know, are this because because I still think think it's like because you can just type a simple sentence or a string of words and and then that's when that's that's how you create the art it's like yeah like you know where it like where but is the is value poem? of craft what is a poem what is a poem but a string of words huh? yeah. <laughs> you don't even have to i i purposely was trying to be like how little do i have to give mid journey which has a very strong uh, if we're going to get into a different ais right mid journey like just makes art for you like mm-hmm. or pretty things for you yeah. Yeah. who knows if it's art right i don't know uh but i went to i figured out a way where i could give it an empty character <sighs> that it didn't know was an empty character mm-hmm. uh but i gave it an empty character and it made like some some beautiful portrait of some woman right uh and i'm like thanks but like so it was that art was that not art? i I don't know it can be like i think as with everything it it can be it's just it's about the idea you know and i you know obviously like i'm not the freaking king of like art rules here it's just my opinion i love uh guys like (laughs) have you heard of marcel duchamp and his uh (laughs) his ready mates dadaism right that is him right like it, it literally uh he signed a toilet and then was like i'm this is my art yeah and like that's great. That's I think that's wonderful. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. I guess that maybe is that is that. Well, that's what where this your is? line came from, Sam. When we were learning that in art history, yeah, You're yeah. Like, anything could be art, right? But art yeah. isn't anything. Like it took him signing that yeah. and putting on that and making a a point about art for people. Like, okay, interesting. You're you're getting to my mind here. You're making yeah. me think about this. Like that's where the art comes in. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah, like, but I guess it's yeah. like, what is the what's the? I sorry, this is it's just such a confounding concept to even consider. Because yeah, I guess it's like when anyone can do it, so to speak, where it's it, it's like when it takes like there's no barrier to entry. I guess there's no barrier to entry of picking up a paintbrush or a crayon too. There is. There's years of of trying to learn how to like mix the colors or mm. or whatever, right? Well, I guess it takes a few days or hours or to figure out some nice yeah. prompt strings. I guess <laughs> to enter, you know, yeah. But just yeah. just putting time into something does not make it art you know right right like the ready mades yeah right? it's yeah well I mean, it's like intent. it's all about thought process and decision making and that's what yeah. creates the art but at the same time you know when it's when 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 like that's like saying hey uh like i know let's say nico he's great with the pencil he can draw some <laughs> stuff and i'm like hey nico can you draw <laughs> you me, me a, great with can, the pencil <laughs> can you make some sweet anime art for me and nico's like uh like this i'm like uh more moody lighting please <laughs> uh, kind of, can you make it more like Unreal Engines? Unreal <laughs> Engine? And then Nico Trend, makes it, an art and then I take it. I'm like, look what I made. You know? Oh, I see. I see. Okay, right. so you're, you're talking about I made about, art. Uh, oh, okay, I, I made see. art. I see. I came up with the idea of I wanted it to be this anime thing. I wanted him to draw with pencil. You know, Unreal Engine Five. Unreal Engine Five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> but like, I made art now, and it's like that's what it feels like with the AI stuff because. That's basically what the process is. There was a guy who painted a, a, a Campbell's can of suit. Soup. Paint, yeah. He used to do that, right? He had his little, uh, uh, his little thing, right? Yeah. yeah. He did that. He was like, that's mine. Mm-hmm. Uh, and people were like, but you have like a bunch of people working for you. He's like, I don't, I don't care. That's mine. <laughs> right? So is that his? Uh, oh, right? shoot. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know. I don't know. I know, but even still, it's just kind of like it, it feels. It feels weird though, because it's once again. Well, here's you're, the you're, other crazy thing. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, you make a really cool. Let's say you're like, all right, here is my crazy picture that I generated using AI. Yeah. Using stable diffusion, and you know what? It's a crazy idea. It's a cool juxtaposition. I got a great composition. I didn't just find a good prompt. I have an interesting idea. And you show me the picture. I'm like that's art. You're like, anyways, I can type in the exact same prompt with the seed and make the same picture. Meaning you yeah. don't own that picture. Sure. You just triggered it. Oh, are machine. we talking about NFTs or are we talking about yeah. <laughs> art in general? Like, yeah, concepts. You know, it's like, yeah, yeah. did you make that picture or did you just find the door to open? 
AI tools are great and all, but there's one thing that they can't do, and that's keep your feet comfortable, stylish, and warm all day long as we enter fall and winter here. But courtesy of today's sponsor, Vessi, that's exactly what you'll be able to do with a pair of Vessis on your feetsies. Now, Vessis are 100% waterproof and snowproof, meaning that they're great for the diverse weather conditions you get in fall and winter. They can go through slush, snow, sleet, rain. They're also built with a patented Dymatex material, meaning that they're going to keep your feet warm in the winter and cool in the summer. And with their nice, comfortable antimicrobial soles, your feet are going to be smelling good all year long. They're comfortable. You can flex them any way you want. It's like putting a sock on your feet, but in the form of a comfortable, waterproof shoe. And if that's not enough, Vessis use less waste during the knitting process, and they have no animal byproducts, meaning that they are 100% vegan and good to go for your computer-minded consciousness. So if you're interested in getting rid of those winter boots and putting something on your feet that's comfortable, stylish, consider getting a pair of Vessis today. If you go to Vessi.com slash CorridorCast, you'll get $25 off every pair of adult Vessi shoes that you buy. That's $25 off by going to Vessi.com slash CorridorCast or just click the link in the description below. Huge thanks to them for always sponsoring everything we do over here at Corridor. And uh, let's get back to that conversation. And like, right. now I can just go and open the same door on the AI and get the same picture, you know? Right. Now here's, here's what's interesting, right? Uh, there are ways of modeling, like if we're getting a little bit more technical, ways of like mm -hmm. creating a graph of what everyone has made right so mm -hmm. far and people have made some weird stuff right like <laughs> everything from homer simpson in the godfather all the way to like the anime girls to like yeah you know oh there's a the weird stuff thing when it starts at anime girls and goes from there oh yeah right yeah. <laughs> and, and like the amount of prompts that um i saw with people trying to make like women wearing quote unquote invisible dresses <laughs> anyway or dresses made of air because they were trying to get around like the, 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 filter. the filters right <laughs> it's, people are really smart man uh, about this kind of stuff the people are gonna get their porn they, um, the amount of terms that i've learned for for sexual positions in, in any anyway um you know you can take all this stuff that people have made and put it into a big graph and then you can see that it's got like ventricles going everywhere right so then you might be able to just move like a little thing around and be like What's over here? Oh, well, no one's made two or only two or three things were made over here. And most of the time it's going to be like, whatever the hell, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, ugly. It's a weird but, mashup of images and shapes. Yeah, but this is basically the library of Babel, right? Yeah. Like where any image is possible to be created, right? Like a 512 by 512. Mm -hmm. If you can fit it into that, it, you can create it with, with stable, right? Yeah. Or with some of this AI, right? Yeah. As you were saying, so you start moving around there like, over here, no one's ever done this yet because there's no dots there. There's nothing in the graph, but let's go see what's there. Yeah. And now you can immediately go like, here's the various different art genres that haven't been invented yet. We can see them all immediately. Yes. <laughs> exactly. You know, let's go look at all of them right, right now. It's like, wow. So now yeah. that's, that that's going to be really hard, right? Mm -hmm. But you, you're the one who explored it. You know, you're the one who found it. Uh, as would be like you with a pencil or with a brush or whatever, you know, mm -hmm. with a camera with a pen with a with a brain with like a... what's the analogy there because is it like outer know. space at this point kind you of. know it's like i don't know I'm just late trying... in space buddy it's late, late in space, space man. cyberspace is done we live in late in space oh, now man this is web web 17.0 man yep um we skipped, yeah i mean we skipped four through 16 <laughs> ai told us to skip four through 16 yeah. we didn't want to touch it let's talk about that real quick just yeah. how fast things change because that's what we were saying in our last podcast like wow things are going so fast and they just got faster. Like yeah. literally a week ago, we dropped a podcast talking about stable diffusion and how a great it was. Ago, that, I don't even remember a week ago, yeah. man. I haven't slept in God knows how long. <laughs> <laughs> my wife wakes up, it's four o'clock in the morning and, and I'm like, okay, just a second. I just need to keep training. I just need to keep training the system. <laughs> like, I've, been, I've been trying for, I trained the thing for a week and a half on, on it looking like me. I'll show you some of the images if when you're, when you're ready because it, it was very, very ugly. Uh, <laughs> you know, now's, now's a great time. You should show Sam. You know what? I, um, so while, while you pull up your yes. picture, I'll just explain real quick. So, hey, you got this big mall. You can type in anything. And you get a picture. And you're like, okay, well, I'm going to type in me. As in, like, I'm going to type my name in. And, like, nothing comes up. And you're like, well, that's weird. It's like, yeah, because it doesn't know who you are. You're not famous enough to be yeah. cataloged thousands of times on the internet as in pictures. Or like me, uh, I am famous enough 
uh, <laughs> clearly. And you are also famous enough, I would imagine, to be on this thing. But for me, it thinks it, the the way that it breaks up the text is uh, Joe and then Pen and Na. So usually I get like some old guy named Joe <laughs> holding a pen in the ancient city of Na. You know? <laughs> wow. Uh, and I can't, uh, so I have to train it myself, you know? Yeah, uh, unfortunately. So this, is a, this is a friend of mine, um, right? And there are, if you look at his uh, Wikipedia page, right? There's one image there where he's kind of sort of squinting, right? And, and he's a very good looking fella. Um, I don't have his permission to show this, so I'll just show it to you guys. But you can see that all of the images that it made were he's the squinting. exact squinty face. And it's just like uncanny valley. Like yeah. deep, deep in the uncanny valley because <laughs> holy crap, that is weird, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I decided to give it, try to trick it into thinking that I'm a very good looking fella, right? Oh. Um, by only giving it like the professional headshots that mm. are, were very carefully curated, right? Uh, and it, oh, eventually I was like, no, I'm gonna give it all, right? Like mm. me wearing a space helmet, me wearing a, all types of glasses, me in shadow, um, and, and yeah, like it, it made uh, something. Um, <laughs> that's, that's, that's it's like that's a Tim and Eric character. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you can see that, yeah. right? Like it's it's. I love how much he's like. At least I know that he is happy. Like it has, <laughs> wow, it's yeah, like a it's Titan like, version of you, right? Yeah. Um. So yeah. Uh, so so not wonderful. Um. Clearly, a guy who also uh, needs a lot of dental work and Rogaine. Uh, <laughs> wow! Wow! Um, that's weird. Right? Dude, the AI is just itching to give you that unibrow. Uh, if, <laughs> it's like, I've been working hard to get rid of it. Uh, so there was also one image of me uh, that was like my arms spread up, spread out like this, and I was like doing whatever the face that Mystery Tarman used to make, right? Uh, mm -hmm. But the my fingers got caught in the like lens distortion, right? The barrel lens distortion. Mm -hmm. So I thought that that's what my fingers looked like. Ooh. So it only <laughs> created images of me like, With, like this sausage <laughs> fingers, just big giant, big giant sausage, sausage, sausage fingers, fingers, right? <laughs> and then the the everyone was like, okay, that's hilarious. However, just ask for like a close up. But then of course it gave me a close up of like <laughs> doing this, which is literally like the sausage <laughs> fingers. Do you look like, like a, you're from like RRR or something, right? <laughs> or uh, uh, everything everywhere all at yeah. once. Yeah. Um, and also, like, <laughs> it, I, I didn't realize like how much like every tiny little image would make sense. So I gave it pictures of me that mm -hmm. were kind of like this and I try to crop my face out, but my wife is in there. So very much it was oh, like, no. is this what you are? <laughs> like, is this what you are? This? There's always this like a second face always up against it. <laughs> <laughs> like, this, I think this is, are you? Are you, this is it, right? Yeah. Um, but then eventually it started getting a little closer. Ooh. Yeah. That Indiana mm -hmm. Jones version of yeah. you is right. very nice. Like there's, that's like old version of me. That's right. good. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like a charcoal drawing of me. Yeah. Um, I can uh, share with these with you after. And I mean, some more Indiana Jones. Uh, and this I is said, you training like for days and days and days on this by this point. This is, this is like yeah, three days of training. Yeah. Um, this is a uh, Joe Penna speaks Aramaic. Oh my god! Uh, and that one looks really sacrilege, good. Sacrilege, I, yeah, I believe. Yeah. Uh, this is illegal in some countries. Uh, <laughs> it's illegal in some countries. <laughs> but like even little things where like I used an auto face cropper. That I'm sure you guys have used for the mm -hmm. deep fake stuff. But it thought that like that's what I was, you know, like <laughs> and it made, like a half and half image of me. That's so odd. Uh, so it was hours and days of training. Eventually, it got to like a, a point where. I could I could call it kind of like that's likely somewhat me. But guess what? On my drive down <laughs> for the last 15 minutes of me trying to figure out how to park here, this guy figured out how to do it in 15 minutes. <laughs> and he has yeah. some images oh that are God. like really freaking incredible that really yeah. look like him. What are yeah. you what's the process called? So so I'm doing something. So Google made this thing. Hey, this thing. They have this idea called dream booth, right? So you have everything in latent space, and everybody likes to use the term dreaming for when you're having a computer invent these images, which is honestly pretty apt. Because right? I feel like it's kind of the same thing that's happening in your brain when you're dreaming, right? And Google's like, well, like, how do you put yourself in the dreams? Everybody's going to want to do that, right? You want to generate a picture of a dog? Well, you're going to want to generate a picture of your dog. So how do you put your dog into the system? And so they have this idea called dream booth. 
And the thing is, it was implemented with Google's Imagen, which is like their version of Dolly to stable Amazing. diffusion mid-journey. And Google's like, no, no one can use it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, this is ours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so some person's like, well, what if I just take their principles and use the stable diffusion engine instead? And Joe sent me the link. He's like, hey, check this out. Somebody has this new idea. And I'm like, I'm going to make it work. <laughs> and I spent the past four hours uh, figuring out which computer had enough VRAM to run it. Turns out only one of our machines. Shout out to Puget for setting us up with an AI machine with an A6000. So I needed 38 gigs of VRAM. And it made a perfect me. Uh, just straight up. Right. I don't. I skipped. You know, unfortunately, I'm, I'm a little sad. I didn't get to enjoy all the wonky steps there. Oh. <laughs> Listen, uh, if you want some wonky pictures of you, I will purposely. <laughs> but I'm gonna hold this up to the camera. Wow, this is a great time to check out the version on YouTube or on CorridorDigital.com. <laughs> that looks good. Marina, don't you guys make less money on the video version? No, 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 do not, do not. We're going to spend the next thirty minutes describing exactly what the image is. Like. Do not go to the. No. I'll, I'll read off a grid of the pixel colors, and you can just type those in pixel by pixel to get the image. Yeah. Um, so look at that. Like, like yeah. literally yesterday, I, I was training. I'm still training. It's still going. <laughs> And today, it's it's already doing that in 15 minutes. Right? Yes. And this came out two weeks ago. Yeah. Because the thing that... Wait, what, that was it two weeks ago? No, it was... Wait, no, oh God, it was two weeks ago. Yeah, it was two weeks ago. Wow. It was like two and a half weeks ago. No, you're right, but that's... The half makes a difference. <laughs> <laughs> the crazy thing is, like... So the reason, like... I think the reason why... Well, t actually, let me rephrase this. Joe, as our guest, tell me, why are you so hyped about being able to add things to the model? When you okay. can add your face. Why have you spent a week and a half trying to get yourself into this model? So you can type, give me a picture of Joe Pano with a top hat drawn yeah. by Greg Rutkowski. <laughs> <laughs> Trending on art station. Uh, Margot Robbie wearing an air dress. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh my God. The amount of words that I know now because of... Uh, okay. Um, What's the obsession, man? The obsession, man, is because... It, because I have been able to get two jobs in the last month, uh, like film making jobs that are as of yet um, unannounced because of this technology, right? Um, because some people in my industry, uh, in our industry, in any industry, they have a hard time imagining. That's actually, there's a disease, not disease, there's a, there's a, <laughs> Uh, a condition called aphantasia for some people mm. who cannot like when you when I say uh, you know picture a red apple right close your eyes uh, I don't even have to close my eyes oh there you go so you don't <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you didn't even even gotta do it right some people can't do it some people are like okay yeah no I I understand what a red apple looks like but I can't picture it it's not on a table it's not okay. it doesn't have its friends you know um, so for those people uh, who uh, somehow just all for some reason are producers in Hollywood. Uh, yeah, you know they need to see. They need to see Margot Robbie, preferably wearing some sort of dress, uh, mm -hmm. not made of air, you know, or they need to see Oscar Isaac, or they need to see like uh, concept art. And I can't draw, uh, and I can only hire a concept artist to fix up the images that I like make. But also, it's amazing that I can work with a concept artist to be like, hey, I spent like eight days just like generating, generating, generating. And it took me forever. But like, these are the three images that I got that I would not have been able to search for them. Mm -hmm. You know, um, can you take these and then like do your human thing to it? Uh, <laughs> right. Um, so it, I have like, I, I can do things like, hey, add like, uh, here's a monster that I'm making. Add like a fishtail to this thing uh, or add this or add that so that we don't end up with the same like looking monster that we've seen in like all the things as of, as of late, you know? Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, so it, it will help me with my job uh, in every step. Like I can literally be like, oh, uh, this prop designer made like a cool looking gun. Picture, 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 picture. You guys have done something similar with photogrammetry, right? And, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Uh, but then I can just tell tell uh, Stable Diffusion, be like, hey, uh, can you make uh, can you make my character doing that? You know, I can make a comic book. I can do any like I can yeah. do all of these things that I'm like. Give me George Clooney. Yes. In an army outfit, holding my laser gun. Holding my laser. My gun. laser gun. Holding, wearing my outfit that I had my my 
my uh, person who designs outfits, and uh, I literally forgot because I have not slept for two and a half weeks. I see what you're saying. <laughs> you know? so, that's kind of cool, though. Yeah. yeah, so it's like the idea of, of like, look, we have some things that we want. Yeah. But we don't have everything. And so we're trying to like, okay, you have like the 20% where it's like, okay, we want to work yes. with this actor. We know it's supposed to be like the setting. And yeah, maybe maybe we have like a special prop we have designed. Yeah. But it's the idea of basically keeping that consistent between images. Like just like I'm assuming if you can train it on a face, you could train it on an object too. You can. That's what it's made for. You can for. train yeah. it on a style. Yeah. Or, you can train it on an emotion. You can train it so, on So when you, when you tell it that thing, that key yeah. word that you've trained it on, it goes like, okay, cool. Yeah. That like cool, like red glossy laser gun that you want to have in this thing. Cool. Well, I yeah. know what that looks like. Yeah. And now suddenly Tom Cruise has his little laser, laser gun, gun. Yeah. yeah. In all the f photos. And it, but now is now he's blue or now he's in space yeah. or now he's driving a car. Yeah. But he's always holding that little laser gun. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Or like has okay. like a hat or you know or like That's I can make a movie. Uh so so th this is where we can get interesting with it, right? Like if I'm a comic artist, like I I'm working with a on a on a graphic novel right now with a, a real artist and et cetera. Uh, a real artist. And, and <laughs> I'm, I'm not, like I can't draw, right? Like a person who can actually like put the pen to paper, right? Mm -hmm. And does digital paintings and stuff. And I'm like, hey, do you mind if I teach the AI how to draw your stuff? And they were like, I, I need you to explain like every part of what that would entail, please, before I say yes. And I'm like, I can take every image you've ever drawn and give it to this thing right and then it i can say in the style of asterisk this this mm -hmm. person right and then uh, i can say i can ask for things like hey uh it, you know podcast the uh, cool dudes in the style of this this artist okay. you know um that's a really crazy idea of like just saying hey you know what i, I want to get like a character artist and give me a like a like the uh like the style sheet or whatever it yeah, is turn of, sheets and things yeah. yeah of like here's the character and like a couple angles of them yeah and you then you train that and then you're like yes hey, hey, i'm gonna make my own comic now with this consistent character throughout all of them quite literally uh, yeah. nico was talking about that up, upstairs right so like wow i i'm not a comic book artist but it, you're not a comic book artist but that's gonna make for some great fan it. fiction Right, right. <laughs> you're like yo i like berserk and i'm like i'm just gonna scan all this stuff from this comic and then make my own sequel hey, handsome yeah. chiseled berserk i don't know what his name is uh, who, Guts. Whoever, Guts. You know? i don't know i just thought of that because i was like because well, the artist who wrote it griffin's died. been griffin's yeah. been making a bunch of art for son of a dungeon i actually i do wonder how griffin feels about all this and we should ask him because I was like, you're literally the, the AI machine like, is literally yeah, behind his back. You're literally man. doing this behind Griffin's back. Yes. <laughs> well, right now they're using AI stuff for all the art, but it's basically more like stylistic backdrops and stuff yeah, like that, yeah. where it's like it's an element there, but it's not like for the purpose of recreating something specific. Yeah. But imagine I took all Griffin's drawings, I trained, I fine-tuned the model, I add them into the model, like with an identifier, Griffin Thorn Art or something like that. And then I say, like, okay, well, we got, you know, he drew some mind flares and he drew some people to town. Let's say I go like, well, okay, we have uh, in this part, we come across uh, a giant worm. It's like, okay, well, a giant uh, monster worm, yeah. scaly, right. uh, Griffin Thorn art style. And well, then this is where you can get a little hairy though. Yeah. Right. Do, do you know how this was done? How like this whole thing was, was like created? Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. Right. right the, uh, like how it, like it just trained it on common crawl, which was the, the web. Mm -hmm. like the interweb right yeah. uh everything yeah. so you you can say like hey in the style of uh, yeah simon stalin Mahal yeah i'm, I'm familiar whatever. with that concept of this. right yeah so like is that okay to to say that well, yeah absolutely thing is, it's like it, it's okay yeah. well it's okay and it's not in the sense that like it's no different than if you were to make a painting and if you just straight up rip off simon stalin hog yeah even if you paint it yourself and you didn't use an ai to do it you're still ripping off simon stalin hog right yeah. so it's like you got to bring something to the table. Otherwise, it's just a ripoff. It doesn't matter if an AI does it or if you do it. If you're going yeah. to like present it as your art and it's just a straight up copy, then then it's like, mm -hmm. it, you know, we don't need the AI future to define whether or not that's cool or not because yeah. we've already defined it. It's like, I mean, it's yeah. no different than it's no different than just like how normal art even you know, like already operates where yeah. people make styles and if they become popular, then it becomes oversaturated. And then either yeah. the artist moves on from that style or uh or maybe everyone's just like the copycats aren't as good so yeah, i don't know yeah, yeah. But well you but, can, it, but you can mash the, it up now in this situation yeah you can mash it up and, and also like it is weirder because it's not just like a here's someone else copying someone's style but it's like no it's like literally mm -hmm. 
the style is exactly copied, right, which yeah. is kind of weird. But like, as you were yeah. saying with Griffin too, in his art, it's like, the thing is like that art that he's doing is also kind of based already on another artist's style. I forget. I forget because like that was, that was one of the inspirations. So well, it's like, that's the case for every human style. Yeah, whose who's art isn't. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like it's all based yeah, on like yeah. Beeple even uh, has based on other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, um, so, so that's the question, right? Like it, one thing I disagree about, there are things I disagree about and things I agree about with Simon, right? Uh, he talks specifically, he's like, I think that uh, AI can't create new stuff, right? It's mm -hmm. just like derivative kind of work. And if you're somebody who makes your money, like just turning out derivative kind of stuff, yeah, you're, you're, in, trouble. The, you're, you're in trouble, but it will never get to my level, um, right? And, or he, he, was, he didn't mean it like me because I'm so great. He, mean, like, he means like the the thought process of a human being, right? Like it, mm -hmm. it can't like make something that's meaningful uh, because it can only copy stuff. And I'm like, I think he has a misunderstanding of like <laughs> what it, it, it is literally the library of Babel. Like the thing where like, if you have enough monkeys with mm -hmm. typewriters, it'll type Shakespeare, mm -hmm. but it will also type anything that's typable, yeah. right? Um, like it will learn him better and it will get better than him and better than any human being alive. And that's the kind of the, that's why I'm not freaking out <laughs> because I know that outside of maybe like what uh, uh, athletes, there's not a job on earth that isn't threatened by AI. Well, the funny thing is, like, I feel like a lot of people think about that as, this as in, like the movie archetype of like you got your Matrix robots and you got your human <laughs> beings and we're fighting our wars, right? Yeah. When in reality, these are just tools. No, it's just gonna be humans fighting humans. <laughs> yeah, it's like at the end of the day, humans this is... with AI versus humans without AI. Oh, yeah, it's... God. Uh, yeah. Who's gonna win? <laughs> yeah, that's where it actually happens. Because at the end of the day, it's it. This is a case where the artist can draw five or six or ten pictures. It's in the style of the project they're working on. The artist can train it into the model, and now that yeah. artist, as a singular human being, can output a thousand drawings in a day yeah. rather than one. Right. It's still that artist doing the work. It's still that artist using the tool. It's still that artist that needs to come up with the story, create the characters, come up with the ideas, et cetera. But this is a tool. It's no different than a typewriter versus a pen and paper. A typewriter lets you yeah. write faster and more clear. And now, now you're on a computer. Now you can duplicate your paper a hundred times. You can save versions of it. But it's still just a tool that's making your creativity faster. And this AI is no different. It just so happens that this tool is about a thousand times better than the tools that were out a year ago yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, like the amount yeah. of advancement that happened in one just year kept putting dog faces on everything remember like the mona lisa yep. but she's a dog and like her dress is dog <laughs> and everything is dog because there were so many dog pictures right yeah um it is it is a, a big deal right like mm -hmm. that that we can do this but like i think that there is not a single uh a question that we have out there that ai is not going to fix because it's it, they're better than us yeah. right they're better than humans like yeah. they're now better artists um if you do the right thing you know if you like if, right. if, if, if yeah, sorry when's this podcast coming out because like <laughs> in a week so, okay so yeah. yeah they're now better artists <laughs> yeah in a week, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> and uh it, you know but like they're gonna they're gonna be better drivers they kind of already are better yeah, drivers are, than us. Already, yeah uh, they're gonna be better doctors than us because they're mm -hmm. we're gonna train biases out of it you know there's there are studies that show that like really well respected doctors are like uh, okay how much is this person feeling pain and they they're like they give them uh, a number right and how much is that that person feeling pain if and if that person's black they always rate lower mm -hmm. it's like oh, they can handle it right that's that's biased right mm -hmm. we can train that out of ai systems or we can at least see it because right now it's true it, it's just the a computer that's like, I want to be just like you, daddy. You know? <laughs> and it's doing, it has all of the biases and we're trying to figure out ways like, where it's like, okay, so when you ask for doctor in the AI, it just makes like a bunch of white dudes. Yep. So like, let's just throw in like secretly words like black female in there every once in a while. But then it makes like black, like female sumo wrestlers and yeah. like that's is that okay no like, i mean that, that i, I had that, that issue i was trying to create a character for a script i'm writing and the character right now is basically based off jordan coleman right yeah and so trying to get a african-american woman that looks like jordan coleman was really difficult because you yeah. just type in woman you get a white woman if you type in african-american woman that becomes very very emphasized to the point yes. where it's like it's, it's all about the ethnicity like yes. it's almost a character yeah. yeah it's not quite a character but it's like it's very like 
focus on the, you know, whatever yeah. physical features to find that ethnicity that you type in. So you like, how do you get in between that? And like, how do you deal with that? And it's like, well, there's not really a way to do it unless you kind of start tricking the system. And the yeah. method I use was to use a painter that mainly painted people of color. So at no mm. point do I ever mention the person's ethnicity. I just mm. use that artist as one of the artists to help yeah, that, the style. That's what I was thinking, which is like, yeah, the bias is like in the training of like, all right, what is defined as like the the noun here? Mm. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, that's that's crazy. Yeah. But Kerry Washington does not look good as good as Charlize Theron, mm-hmm. you know, uh, in in these models. I know because I've tried both. You know, I had a, a, a lookbook that I was working on for a popular entertainment television for uh, it you know <laughs> sure. I, I can't can't say it. it's it's but um you know it i couldn't i couldn't make any black people uh look as good as the white people i could make them right but like you saw like mm-hmm. the, the the friend of mine uh he's black and it only has one single image of him right so it makes that same squinchy face that he was making because it was he was in the sun in everything so like that's why I think that that training is important. I can throw all those pretty pictures of him into it, and then it it can make it can help me, like put a black character into a a role that uh, you know a producer was imagining for a white dude, you mm-hmm. know, uh, and then all of a sudden that I, I can sell them on on that a little bit better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's weird. It's a communication tool. It's letting you like here's my vision yeah. and try to write it and try to draw it with my Neanderthal hands. Mm-hmm. Or I can use modern technology to invent this image in minutes, if less, if not less. Yeah. So I can show it to you and be like, this is my vision. Yeah. And the person be like, oh, I get it. When I Photoshop like it. first came out, remember when Photoshop first came out and um all these nature photographers were getting into trouble because especially ones that like got into helicopters and took pictures of like massive herds of animals. There was one guy specifically that had these amazing images that looked like herds of animals, like they looked like rivers, mm-hmm. right? But then it came out that he was using evil, evil Photoshop and like <laughs> removing the stragglers and filling in the holes in the middle to make it look like a river. Uh, and people were like, "This is this is not okay. Like you're 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 messing with nature and you're messing with the reality and like it, this kind of stuff shouldn't show up in National Geographic." Mm-hmm. nowadays i think that nobody cares and i think yeah. we photoshop out the handlers of the lions all the time <laughs> right like i think eventually I think it's that. gonna change and i think and will you please stay up until three o'clock in the morning with nico and i to try to figure <laughs> some of this stuff out <laughs> all uh, i know is that nvidia needs to start throwing more vram in their gpus everybody needs more vram everyone right uh, now is gpu is gonna be back i thought the crypto hodl gang definitely did not hodl to their gpus no they I mean? didn't yeah, it turns out turns out when you don't spell hold correctly, no one knows what it means. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, three months in, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, like biology, right? Like um, uh, uh, satellite imagery, physics simulations. You guys have done those. Mm-hmm. Uh, like there are people that are, there's a whole company that's like generating uh, uh, sensor stuff for like, uh, but my dad, he's, I was like, He's like, how have you been? I'm like, good, dad. Like the last two and a half weeks, I've just been doing this AI stuff. He's like, what do you mean? Like I, I work on AI and I'm like, I didn't know this. I thought you were a motion control engineer and tell me everything. Like, uh, have you, have you gotten into textual inversion with like PyTorch or, or do you think that that is something that I shouldn't, that uh, I should use a TPU, right? Instead of a GPU. Uh, so like literally what he's working on is like these diesel, gross diesel engines, like removing emissions, like hmm. lessening their emissions and, and like, knowing like oh this this isn't running the way it should i doubt that in like five years or ten years you're going to be able to buy a refrigerator without like ai in it because of like uh, oh it knows when like you're gonna put like new Mm -hmm. groceries into it you know and like learns you Mm -hmm. like movies are gonna like follow your watch if they're getting boring like you're getting bored with this podcast we're trying to like proselytize you like (laughs) no like if they're getting (laughs) boring they're gonna like they're gonna like throw something scary at you. They're gonna create something new. Games, like you're gonna be able to start playing a game and it's gonna be kind of what Spore was meant to be. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, where like you See, can go into a world. This is and... the part I don't like about it though. That's the, the like this is the this is like my but that's what you asked for. Dystopian <laughs> version. Yeah. Yeah, but like I don't want it to be something that's preying off of like mm. like like I don't want to have it feel right. like it, it's it's preying on me, so to speak. I uh, want it to feel like that. It's like it's cool when it's 
like I was like, when I was talking about the dynamic thing earlier, it's like it's cool when it's dynamic based off of like decision making and like your like your your input so mm. to speak. But the thing is, is like the way you describe it there, that's like the Google Facebook like dystopian model of like okay, um, sweet. Uh, it's like hello Sam, can I entertain <laughs> you today? And I'm like yeah. no. Don't entertain. Oh, God damn it. It's just oh, sweet. It's entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> it just starts playing yeah. dope shit. I'm like, fuck. All right. Uh, that's bad. All right. I'll watch this for like 20 minutes. Yeah. And that's, then it's like, are bad. you going? It's like, Sam, I can continue to entertain you. Mm-hmm. I'm like, no, you I really, really got to go. AI voice, I really like got to go. Yeah. And, like, then, and then it starts wait, blasting wait, 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 some more say, stuff. Say, and it's uh, like, open up the pod bay doors. Yeah. It's like, open the. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like, that was your pod bay doors. Give me more your AI voice. Um. Okay. I'm sorry, Sam. I'm sorry, Sam. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sam. Yes. Perhaps you'd like to listen to some music instead. In fact, I've invented a new genre. Yes, I've invented a genre that works. I just only figured out a new genre yes. that's right in between your listening habits. Yeah. <laughs> I want Britney Spears Toxic with Tchaikovsky. Like whatever that Dude, is. See, there's the thing. It's like it's already figured space. it out before you say it. Yes. <laughs> it's like I know that that's what you want. And you're uh, like, yeah, you're like, we're gonna get bored you're, with you're it jogging or something, and you're like, oh, I want some good stuff to listen to, and it's just like oh, we know. Yeah. Like yeah. each time you run, you run for 15 minutes, and then if there's like if you sit there for more than 10 seconds scrolling through it, it means you can't find a cool album to listen to next yeah. therefore it generates brand new custom music yeah is it like and that's a, it's like yeah that feels just so gross why right like it is i mean that's happening right now with tiktok you're scroll do you do tiktok no oh he doesn't no. do tiktok no 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 he doesn't have an apple watch he doesn't do tiktok you don't even have Siri turned on on your phone. Do you? I don't even have a battery in this watch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you say, yeah. "Hey Siri," does your phone turn on? It does, but it's yeah. only on usually on an accident. <laughs> <laughs> like, but like, you know, I understand that. It's just the thing is, like, that's yeah. not like, that's not the shit I want someone to figure out ahead of time for. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like me. You want to figure it out yourself. Like, I don't want someone making ad money based off of that kind of habit. Like, yeah. I want someone to fucking like wash my truck <laughs> you know yeah. i want someone to like tell me that hey yo like your shit's about to like you're some some pipes about to burst in your head like that's the stuff like i i mm. want a computer to figure out for me before it happens but i don't right. want it to be like oh we've crafted the most addictive like content experience for you yeah and like because that's that's not cool that just pulls you away from like your own inherent motivations Mm -hmm. you know uh that's valid yeah and so that that's so we need to train an ai model to make sure that you're feeling a sense of fulfillment and not being exploited when (laughs) i was gonna say (laughs) right like the ai is gonna make you feel like you got there you know uh and yeah that's the thing uh, so it's it's the uh, i ask this question to, to people who i have this conversation with often um if you could take a pill Right, and it puts you to sleep, but then you wake up, and then you uh, go on a trip to Cairo. There's a Tim and Eric sketch about that. Is there? Yeah, it's oh, like no, this no, no, medicine that you like. You it's like Jeff Goldblum's thing. Like, mm-hmm. oh, I forget what it was like. Like, I'm you know famous, and uh, there's a, a lifetime achievement ceremony on Friday, but it's Monday, and I can't wait. Mm-hmm. I can't wait. I hear Jeff so the, Goldblum the, in there. He's good so, with voices. So, he's, yeah. so you take this pill, and then yeah. you. <laughs> Fall asleep and you wake up in five days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it works. That, it that, works. That, you're reminding me of that. No, oh. that, that's exactly what, what I mean. Like, if you go on a trip to Cairo, right, sure. and it feels super real, right, uh, and then you get back home, you you fly home, and and then that's it, right? Like mm-hmm. you you wake up and all right, thank you for your. Uh, uh, remember, as a reminder, it is still Tuesday, uh, mm-hmm. but like last Tuesday, right? Because that was all like an AR VR whatever our experience right Mm -hmm. that just makes me feel sad (laughs) okay so it makes you feel sad how does it make you feel uh bewildered bewildered okay yes i i i don't know where i am (laughs) i I don't know it's a positive bewilderment it's like stars in my eyes like ooh. i think i'd do it like uh, there's that place uh, at the mall here that you can like put your goggles on and ride dragons and stuff right Mm -hmm. and it kind of sort of made me sick but it was super interesting um i mean i love that kind of stuff yeah, I like that stuff. And and this is kind of like, so someone said, no, but I wouldn't experience like, you know, like a, getting on a bus and the the tire blows out 
and you know you have to stay with like a very kind stranger that night that takes you in and they didn't you didn't speak their language you did, they didn't speak your language and like that's what i'd be missing i'm like but that's what the ai could it could do that you could do that <laughs> if, and it would know that that's what you're missing you know, <laughs> you know? like eventually yeah, yeah but then but some gonna... some guys got to train it to have no biases and then like where's the strife <laughs> oh no you want strife you just throw the strife up you know like it's yeah it's yeah. like your trip to cairo uh, strife weights uh 0. 0.9 as yeah. I loved Cairo in the 1970s, I just went there, <laughs> and you have to check out Europa. It's yeah. really beautiful. Uh, do yeah. do the one without the aliens, though. Like you know, like, the racist way, aliens. By the way, you saw you saw the the stable diffusion render for Blender. We just start modeling your scene, mm. and then it uses the AI image generator to be like, oh, you got like a pot and it's like some rough geometric flowers. Okay. Well, you don't have to render it. We already know what things look like, so we'll just give you what it would look like if you rendered it nicely with good materials and actual right. like good flowers. It yeah. Looks like this. That's gonna like, be. I mean, that you do that now with just image to image, right? Yeah. It's it's amazing. The way you used to have to do it is to like, uh, there's a light here. You shoot a thousand light rays into the. Why am I explaining this to you guys? You 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 know this better than I do. Uh, but for the people out there who just learned it, uh, like me, uh, you used to have to like shoot a bunch of rays called ray tracing right like mm -hmm. uh, i think i don't know yeah. so you thousands still, uh, and thousands we're still ray tracing but yeah you say, yeah, yeah. So, so now it doesn't you just say like there's a light here uh and it's like okay oh, yeah, there, yeah. there you go uh, and it's just like, like this. oh yeah you've human beings have been doing ray tracing for the past like 30 years and there's a bunch of examples online so i get the general gist of it so if there's a light here it would probably look like this if you ray trace it and it just gives it to you like it gives you its yeah. guess right like a little clip uh, like paperclip comes up, it's like, hey, it looks like you're trying to model a pot. You know? <laughs> yep. would, you, would you like some help modeling a little? <laughs> yeah. A little Do you want to see what it would look like if you rendered it nicely? It's like, yeah. yeah and also like modeled it nicely. <laughs> hey, hey, don't do that with the eyes. Do this. I know what owls look Can like, and your liberties? owl looks bad. <laughs> you mind if I make a draw the rest of the owl for you? Because That's you need, funny. You need it. Uh, people are doing that with their kids' drawings now. You know, yep. like they're taking their kids whatever drawings and then making like amazing like perfectly perfect like dragons out of it you know and and the kid just drew like a meep, meep. um yeah and yet like it's i hear you though i hear you because if my seven-year-old or eight-year-old now i'm sorry i'm sorry jonah you're eight you just had your <laughs> birthday uh if my eight-year-old draws like on an ipad or whatever and all of a sudden it like morphs into a perfect dragon that he was trying to draw is that is that taking something away from his experience, you know, from him learning the, the like the strife that you talk about of learning how to like, eh, that's not how I move my hand if I want a dragon, you know? Yeah. Well, but see, that's the thing, like the appreciation of like, I don't download desktop art because of like a cool, the cool prompt that someone typed in to mm. make it. I'm like, I look at him like, this is just beautiful to look at. And like, I appreciate the person for learning how to do this and like being able to, you know, render it so brilliantly, whether it's yeah. through 3D or with something like that and so like there that there, there's an appreciation there it's like I, it's it, the image yeah. isn't what's famous mm. for me i'm not like dude that picture oh yeah it's like no mm. like i i i appreciate the artist i yeah. appreciate the person behind it and it's usually because it's like all right well it's it's this thing where what what, what if it's a world where all art is so brilliant and saturated and just like looks incredible and mm. is so eye catching and vibrant and intricately detailed and mm -hmm. stuff like that to the point where yeah, it, it kind of it kind of makes it so that anyone who knows how to do that, it's just feels like another drop in the bucket. Yeah. I, I you know, it's weird. So then maybe we get some Dadaism again, right? You get yeah. some you get some things that look like toilet. Yeah. Right. And yeah. I think that there will be a pendulum swing the other way. You're right. You know, like I think we're we're about to get a lot of really pretty stuff mm -hmm. really easily. Yeah. And people will be able to make it real if they can right now. You know, if they can just download an app, they can do it. Right. 15, yeah. 15 bucks a month or whatever it is yeah <laughs> you know but it, like that's the, th the thing though it's like still so it's pictures you know i'm like now like you know will it be 3d next or will it be yeah. like 3d like actual like <laughs> is it already 3D? having temporal yeah, consistency right on the it's like you right know there. yeah it's like the moment you can make a video clip that's cool <laughs> like but you know yeah. yeah it's it's like it's it's a thing where at the same time you know a cool yeah. piece of concept art it's like once again brilliant artists you know put time into that but you know that's not like that's not the draw the concept art is all it's like a thing a tool to make something bigger you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying like so it's like all right are you making like actual video content or music or yeah. like writing a book or it's like something that 
you know, has the weight or gravity or, of an experience and like thought behind it. And, and, you know, it feels like there's still a bit of time before that happens. Although, well, although, the, yeah. So that's I do the think other... I, I, I still, I'm going to make this AI book. I think. <laughs> You're going to make an AI book. Yeah. What is it? Uh, like a book entirely written with NLP. Uh, it's GPT three. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, basically, well, I'm not going to talk about it too much right now. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, it's going to happen very quickly. I'm mm -hmm. just saying. That's yeah. that's the thing about AI. It's quick. Yeah. Super right? fast. You can make iterations after well, iterations. Yeah. And like, you know, I think what's worth talking about here, like a lot of our discussions are like, in the future, it will be, in the future, your fridge will tell when you're hungry and it'll play music for you. Like, you know, <laughs> and there's a lot of this in the future talk, but like, what's really exciting is right now that in the future talk is stopping and now it's right now. Yeah. Um. Right. When we went up to film our, we did a, a collab with Adam Savage back at the beginning of summer. Mid Journey came out, like and on the car ride up, on. yeah, we were all playing. <laughs> it was cool. Yeah, I, saw, I saw the Instagram post. I was like, oh my god! Yeah, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> it was amazing going up there and filming that video with them. Yeah, yeah. But Mid Journey just came out, and we're like, "This is really neat." And of course, it's wacky. And it's very interpretive and whatnot. Yeah. And then Dolly Two comes out, and I was like, "Holy moly!" And then Stable Diffusion comes out, and we're like wow right this is even better than dolly 2 and dolly 2 just came out right like why is this going so fast and then mid journey put and then mid journey stable, comes out with a new model yeah and then stable diffusion comes out with 1.6 or 1.5 and then like and right. now we're like all this new software is coming yeah. out around it because it's all open source mm -hmm. and it is moving so fast yeah like they're going to be releasing the new model for people to download in like two weeks or so supposedly yeah. and it's just like whoa Whoa, like guys, I I blinked. I blinked and Dolly 2 came and went. Yeah. Like I was expecting this. It's like imagine Steve Jobs invents the iPhone and then two weeks later, like the implant for your brain comes out. And it's like, whoa. Yeah. Just like I, I would have liked to use the Relax, iPhone for like a guys. year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like I'm trying to think of like what GPT five is gonna be. Right. Yeah. Forget about GPT four. It's gonna blow our blow our brains away. Right. Yeah. Is that a thing the Americans say? Uh, yeah, it works. Uh, it's good. Okay, sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like GPT four is gonna be like, oh my gosh, this sounds like humans. Right? Yeah. I try to like get a little help every once in a while writing a screenplay, um, but <laughs> with GPT three, uh, but you know, you can only use so many tokens, right? You can only tell it so much, right? Mm -hmm. right. To 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 remember so much. Uh, so like I had it, I had it right. Like just the end of my, I was trying to get like one perfect final thing, right? Mm -hmm. Just the end of it, right? And I first messed up where I didn't just give it like one line. So it gave me like a whole new alternate ending <laughs> uh, where it was like, it, he looks her in the eyes and she looks him in the eyes and it's like, I wish we had met earlier. You know, and it's like, yeah, well, those years ago in Tokyo, right? 25 years ago. I was like, stop, stop. And like, as they get closer to kiss, I'm like, stop, 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 stop. They're, they're, it's, it's the dad and she's nine. You know, like, it, it, stop, stop. You know? uh, but then I fed more of it into it. And I, I was like, the website went down or something. And I was like, okay, whatever. I'm just going to go to the shower and like, think about the line, like do it the old fashioned way, I guess. And it, I, to the point where I, my wife was like, it's a drought. Get out of there. I'm like, I'm thinking about a line. Uh, so I did. And I, I came up with this like eureka moment. I'm like, this is what she's going to say to him at mm -hmm. the very end. And like I had tears. I had like goosebumps. I went to the computer and I went to go write it. And the website hadn't gone down. The website was just like thinking. And it came up with something that was really close. <laughs> really close. I was really mad. Uh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> that's really scary. Uh, that's and I'm scary. like... Yeah, that's it's not it's not it's not as good as mine, <laughs> but it's really close. I would have gotten to mine faster had I seen hers, yeah. you know. And like GPT four is gonna make some stuff. It's like I wouldn't have thought of that. Yeah. What's GPT five? What's GPT ten? You yeah. know what's that gonna do? It's gonna invent stuff that humans as a collective have not been able to invent in a really long time. Yeah, and what if you when you what when you start applying it to other things that aren't writing and pictures you know yeah. just we're all obviously very close to that because it's what we all do for a living yeah yeah it's it's really bonkers and it's like and these what ifs aren't really what ifs anymore the fact that you did that with gpt3 already it's like and gpt3 is kind of old news now it is it's yeah it's like we're yeah. beyond that like yeah everybody's just finding out about this kind of stuff it's like no guy like it's, it's so happy it's changing so fast yeah. and like yeah but there's also all these questions about like 
steganography and like you know hiding stuff in the images to be like this is AI. You yeah. know, you can get around that. Or GPT three being used for like uh, uh, this like actual Discord, not the the app, but like creating Discord mm -hmm. on Twitter. You know, like mm -hmm. racist comments and, and like being used for that. You know, and like what do we do we write an ai that can tell that when something is ai or not but then that AI can be used. networks you know, <laughs> that's it right like you're just you're just creating ais that can fight with each other and that exists you yeah know, that exists as gans yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that's what it is uh, but then like then it's gonna be like all right um only stop when you get better than a human you know uh only write a, yeah a better sonnet uh you know or only uh, stop until you figure out exactly every single time whether or not this microscope slide has cancer, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, or like, uh, f like would Flint have happened if, you know, AI were around, you know, on the pipes? I don't mm -hmm. know. Um, AI is just too catch-all of a term, right? It's, it's too much. It's just like computers doing work. Yeah, right? it's, it's, it's the magic of AI, as, as I explained in a few other podcasts, it's being able to write a computer program without having to actually write the program. Yeah. Going, here's the result I'm wanting. Here's the inputs I have. Here's some examples that you can practice on and what the, you know, quote unquote, correct answers are. Yeah. You come up with whatever programming you need to do to give you the correct answers. I'm not going to do that. I, yeah. I'll just give you the answers. And it's yeah. like the fact that our computers are so fast, we're like, okay, well, just monkeys banging on the typewriter. Let's go. <laughs> and it's like, okay, we banged on the typewriter, a, you know, a couple trillion times. And we actually came up with a math equation that worked. You only feed the monkeys that bang the right things. Right, exactly. Right, you and then all the monkeys, monkeys learn how to bang the right things into mm -hmm. the typewriters. Right. You also you have you put them in the room. You put on the the mm -hmm. nice music. The monkeys are treated really well, just so you know, <laughs> yeah. as they're learning. How to... Well, the monkeys that are doing well. You're trying to get more monkeys. Yeah, so type the, well. the monkeys who can't type sonnets, they leave. You know? <laughs> Where do they go? Ah, uh, they the GPT two. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, yeah. So why have you not slept for the past two and a half weeks? Is it just because you can do concept art? Or is there something deeper no, than that? Um, I, I, it's partly, I mean, it's so multifactorial, right? Uh, and I have slept a little bit. Uh, you know, I just have messed up my, my sleep schedule a lot. Um, it's because it's so quick, you know? Literally, I, I was like working on uh, some code for something. And then someone was like, hey, yeah, here's the code. Uh, I, I had my thing do it you know and it's like oh here's the better one here's a better one here's a better one. so i i cut and this is getting to people like people are texting me uh, or, or chatting me dming me like hey i'm gonna like check myself in somewhere like and um get some help um and i'm like oh wow like it it's like an addiction for some people right mm. and i have to stop myself from it becoming an addiction um for sure you know um and but but really some of the factors include, I feel like my job and everybody's job is on the line. I mm -hmm. feel like I can make some money because I'm going to be first. Uh, I feel <laughs> like uh, I can finally express some of the stuff that I've been wanting to. I can't draw like you two can, you know. Uh, you can you can draw way better than I can, you know. Uh, like I, I, I <laughs> my dad, when I was uh, 12 years old, uh, put me into art class. Uh, because I like entered an art context because the, every, every single person who entered won a goldfish. <laughs> I just wanted the goldfish and I drew the worst Jim Carrey in the mask that you can possibly imagine. Uh, I don't really want to see this drawing now. It was just, it oh, was just I, I know, I know, like that's it. This is the, this is, that's the story. That's why he's up. He's looking for this redemption. This is it. I can image the image of that, that thing. To create the perfect mask, Jim Carrey in the mask, you know, like, and I remember looking at all the other drawings and being like, how, how do you do that? Like, what, how do you move your foot? But, but the thing is, even if you do image to image it and it looks great, like that's not, that doesn't solve the problem. But then is it mine? I drew the original thing. Is it just a Photoshop filter? It's pretend. It's pretend. It's pretend mine. You, it's <laughs> pretending that you drew it better. Yeah, it is. I'm like pretending though. Is that not what the EQ is when you're mixing music? Is that mm -hmm. not what the sharpen? You mask pretending is that, like you. Is that how the lookup tables are that you apply to your footage when you color grade it? Well, I guess it's just that's the thing where it's like we just need to find like is there a level here or is this like this new concept of thinking where it's not about 
like the concept quality is not a concept or craft is no longer a concept yeah. you know what i'm saying mm. where it's like mm -hmm. okay well dude when you build a house craft is a concept all right yeah. does it stay up when it rains <laughs> does it fall apart you know like there's some some you know elements, some but when it comes to like <laughs> art it's kind of like it, it's getting to this point where no there's no it like it's yeah i, I just that that's the part that's still spooky where it's like ah oh, man and for art yeah. especially right because yeah. art is so personal and art means so much to so many people we're like well but it's that concept of getting it like i you know like what what happens when the collective collective consciousness moves to a point where craft is like taken for granted and is not like an uh, like we're already like there a thing. we're already there remember this this topic is about how things move so fast we're already we're at the point where people take craft for well for granted. shoot i do i know that, like yeah. the last decade you like, know what, we people... make youtube videos <laughs> <laughs> we know what like we've seen we know, that already we've... <laughs> we're gonna be the old people in in like yeah. two weeks, being like, "Why well, remember back in the day where the, this this you, you, things just didn't model themselves?" The fact that you people know? are like, "Oh, you know, the new Marvel." Did movies. you edit your videos? <laughs> oh no, my god! What <laughs> that happens? They have auto editors now. You can yeah. like cut things out from and a script. You use I know it we here, right? Yeah, yeah. Use it. Yeah, use it, right? <laughs> like probably. Ugh. So like yeah. that's gonna All be right. everything. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, our movie's gonna be Kevin Feige with a laptop in his basement, and that's it. Yeah, I mean, right? Like, the fact that people are no, already it's Kevin going. Feige like, who sells you a, a Apple Watch? All right. No offense, Kevin. Uh, like I really am. I'm a huge fan of your work. It's no. You it's know. it's Jeff. <laughs> it, it's Elon Musk sells you the Neuralink, and then you put that in your head, yeah. and then basically it Neuralink. takes that biometric data, and then is basically on the fly trying to come up with prompts that stimulate you, yeah. and you're just sitting there going like, "Here we go." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that's it. That's it. That's the fucking that end is game. Dystopian. It's you're so right. gross. You're right. That is incredibly Ugh. dystopian. We're already there, man. Yeah. It's just we have phone screens, so it's not quite as like you know it doesn't hit you quite as. Hard. Yeah, it's like here. You that's know, literally what. TikTok it, it is. Knows, yeah. TikTok is is that's why it's gross. It's people going like, all right, we need a way to like, you know, it's the closest thing to AI generated video. It's like, well, let's just they give people the tools to have millions of people. Videos. Well, obviously, you do have AI generated yeah. video now you too. Saw, but uh, Rocket Jumps, uh, like, uh, like funny thing about it, like mm -mm. Uh, they're they're all of these videos that are, are trying to like grab your attention, right? And they literally put something up on the screen and then underneath it is like, look, it's Minecraft, like realistic Minecraft stuff. <laughs> uh, and it, it's really like a play for your uh, attention. And, uh, you know, it's, they now have started making those automatically where it, it just takes like top Reddit comments and yeah. a voice, a text to, to voice or text to speech uh, thing is like, what is the favorite, what's your favorite thing? This is what this, and like it's, there's thousands of those that get millions of views. I That's think it's so gonna gross. be a generational thing. I was yeah. talking about this with my wife, and she's like, no, but kids are fucked. But crap, yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, craft, right? Like if if I watch a movie with an actor in it, it am I it, like if if it makes me cry and I'm like, who is that actor? And I go and I look it up and it's little Michaela or whatever, like some AI generated <laughs> thing, right? Am I gonna feel bad about it? Did you feel bad about Rogue One and like Tarkin being fake? You know, did you notice? Did most people notice? I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Right, man. I don't know. Games are gonna become this. Movies are gonna become this. That line is gonna be blurred. You're gonna be able to, you know, you're kind of bored with a movie. Grab the controllers. Actually, don't even grab the controllers. Just, just go over there a, a little bit more. Like, open the door. Right. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be like those choose your own adventure, but more yeah and perhaps not by your choosing you know if you're wearing like a, uh, a watch <laughs> and even if you're not the tv has a little uh, webcam on top of it and it's gonna yeah. look at your face and it's gonna look when you're okay like, i can't i can't do this anymore guys <laughs> and then <laughs> I, can't, I can't do this and then it's gonna know can't exactly what stimulates you in just the right way let's talk about the waifus again uh like let's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, it's scary isn't it it's scary Sam, um, I have some quality waifus to show. No, I'm kidding. I mean, I do, but they're easy. It's like stable diffusion is really easy to generate waifus on. I bet. Yeah. Are we going to get into a whole fanboy conversation now where he just walks away or what? Yeah, this is, you know, this is we're going to dim the lights and it fades out and I, I leave and you guys and I'm like, keep talking and it just qu quietly <laughs> it goes to zero. So, so what, do you, what do you think about like yeah, Imogen versus Party? And like, is that, is, you know, do, do I get All the right. 3090? Uh, I, I, I do the, actually uh, have the bounce. A100. <laughs> so, right. uh, 
This is a. This it always ends on a low note. I'm sorry. It's not a low note. It always ends on, for the high, me, it does. Note. I'm like, oh god. I you're think, gonna live longer because of it and happier. I think Joe. If oh. Sam heads out, I'd love to still talk for 15 minutes after yeah, he does. It. All right, you guys can do your deep dive. So, the layman, myself, uh, gets to leave. The, the, <laughs> the Luddite. The, the Luddite, yes. Yes. I know. The Luddite angle is leaving, guys, so watch out. <laughs> Just, All right, see you later, boomer. All right, boomer. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Lamer or I'm going to go listen to some classic start. rock and ride my Harley. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, browse Harley's. <laughs> Do you want to see what uh, a Harley Davidson iPhone would look like? Let's let's make it right there. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, right, right. So, so what, what are we talking about? All right, guys. All right. Later, man. all right, for all you guys and gals still listening, let's and let's non-binary people and, and non-binary people and, and robots. And I'm robots sure there's like non-human right people. Do you think we're gonna get into a like a thing where it's like? Do you remember how rude we were to robots back in the day? Yeah. Do you think that that's going to be a thing one day where, you know, we're talking about like, yeah, you know, robots rights? I was talking to, so you heard about the guy, that one engineer at Google who's like, you're, oh, that guy. Yeah, that goofball. Yeah. All right. Just want to say, I looked at the logs. I think he's full of it. He's full of it. He's he so starts out it. with being like, hey, by the way, you're the smartest thing that ever existed. And you definitely, uh, are like sentient. our sentience so are you sentient? so you know like, yes. so are you sentient yes it's, it's playing a game you know yeah. it's playing a game with him and you know the one thing is like at no point at no point in the log did the machine ever ask him about something the machine was interested in at no really? point did it take on its own volition and initiative to learn about something that's true it always just just responses which is exactly what it does it's a it's a statistics machine you type these words statistically yeah. this response will fit it best that's all it is there's a you know, you know about the Saturn V supercomputer that not the Saturn V rocket but the Saturn V supercomputer that Nvidia has you know like twenty thousand GPUs that mm -hmm. are running whatever right so one of the people the the French guy uh, I forget his name uh, but like he's working on Nvidia's like self driving car autonomous vehicle stuff right mm -hmm. um, he was talking about how that's the next big thing right now everything that we have is just pattern recognition mm -hmm. right it's just like really good pattern recognition and and but it's really really good right yeah. uh but that's all it has kind of like um and you can create new patterns you can join different patterns together but it, it doesn't have its own volition its own thoughts its own like wills yeah do we want it to do because the i've seen a movie with <laughs> arnold that i wasn't a huge fan of and, and that definitely had wills i'm not sure if it can quite ever have it the same way we do because it's not the same system right you right. know it's like that guy in the computer's like it's talking about feelings like Feelings are not something that can exist via the human definition and something that is not human because feelings require more than just your neurons. Is that you it's, saying this or is that what the that's, guy what, that's what I'm saying? Because like, yeah. like feelings require an organic body. They require endorphins. They require chemicals. They mm. require senses. They require all these things to, for happiness to truly be a human emotion. You have to be a human to experience it. A computer mm. cannot experience happiness. It can mm. experience the computer equivalent of happiness, right? And like in that guy that said like, oh, this machine's sentient. It's like, it's talking about this stuff. It's like, dude, you can't, you're anthropomorphizing it. Like yeah. you need to understand biology behind these things. Like yeah. we're not computers, like, mm. but I digress. But what if I, what if I can, no, 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 let's digress. I like this digression. Uh, what if I can model your neurons perfectly? Ship of Theseus, right? Mm -hmm. Like if I can take just this little part of your brain that isn't working or whatever, right? And I can fix you up and boop, boop, now it's a chip, right? And then slowly I, I change it over and more and more and more and more. And in fact, you know what? The, the rest of the butt from here down, it doesn't matter anyway, right? It's just like sensors. Simulated. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's just like mechanical levers or whatever, right? We 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 get like <laughs> new knees and we don't say, now you're an android. You know, you're we like, a little bit. Ah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> if the person has the green texts, then we, we do say, oh, now you have an android. That's a really bad joke. Can you please cut that out? Uh, no, I'm kidding. Um, but, you know, like... Well, I, th I think if you emulate a human being perfectly, let's just say, right? Mm -hmm. Unless you believe in something like a soul, uh, then it's going to think that it's a human being and it's going to have uh, an idea of what happiness True. is. If you emulate it perfectly. But I was talking to another buddy of mine who's also big into AI, uh, yeah. Logan Olson. A bunch of people probably know him uh, from back in the day. And I should bring him in for a podcast too. And, he, and we were talking about this. Yeah. And I was like, so do you think the computer is sentient or not? What's your take? He's like, I think the idea of calling it sentient is an outdated term that's going to be irrelevant by the time we actually have this discussion. Yes. 
It's like, what is sentience? It's who cares? A, it's an outdated. Yeah, who cares? It doesn't right? matter. It's how, made how up. How good is it? Right? Yeah. Like, what? What is? What? What is the loss while you're you're doing the training? You know, like what? Like what? <laughs> yeah. is, what is, like who cares? Right? Like yeah. Are we going to arbitrarily it, define sentience off our like 1960s sci-fi novel definition? Right? Like who cares? <laughs> right? Like it's it's so you're right. It's anthropocentric, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's uh, okay. So I have a question for you. What is What's the opposite of a puppy? Ooh. Now, the common answer... No, for you, for you. For me, the, well, the common answer would be kitty. I hate to say oh. it. I know the trick question. You do. You do know, know the trick, trick question. question. Um, the opposite of a puppy is actually a beige dresser sitting on a beach. <laughs> actually, I don't know. Right? But, uh, yeah. So... I would it, say a cat, personally. Opposite right. Opposite of a puppy is a cat. For us humans, yeah. the opposite of a puppy is a cat, right? Um, or a kitten, actually. Right, true. But, but no, it's, oh my God, no. A cat would be farther away because it's older, at least, you know? Like, yeah. the, the visual opposite for a computer of a puppy is, like, a puppy and a kitten are almost identical. Yeah, they're both animals. They're both they're pets. Both legs. So, yeah, they're close together. You're right. Four legs. They both are indoors all the time. They're, they're, they're cute, you know? Yeah. Uh, so, like... <laughs> Let's see what the, I can literally ask the computer right now. Like, what is the opposite of a puppy? Like the true opposite. The, the true visual opposite of a puppy. Uh, and, and in just about three seconds, it's going to show us. This is a room where anybody can generate. So I hope that uh, nobody generates some, some weird stuff in here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it'll be okay. Okay. It is a house in the suburbs. <laughs> <laughs> or like a a dollar a, bill a, kind a, of a 23 bill, right? Like but yeah. this this is the opposite like this is the visual opposite of a puppy, right? Like you see that over there? <laughs> you, you yeah, it's like an aerial view of a house. It's an aerial view of a Floridian in a Floridian cul-de-sac. Uh <laughs> it's an executive home uh in in That's spring. Nice rambler. Beautiful uh like uh, some beautiful uh, topiary work. You're right, I, the I yard is freshly mowed. Yes, yeah. uh, that is the opposite of a. It, it, they don't have cars. They have, uh, cars. they have like blow up mattresses on there, <laughs> on there, <laughs> like, like car, <laughs> shiny car blobs. That is yeah. the opposite of uh, a puppy. And if I were to describe this image perfectly, mm -hmm. um, as in like, if I were to say like, hey, give me an aerial drone view of, of this the Floridian executive home, it probably give me pets. Yeah, you get know? an inverse of that. Yeah, yeah. right? Um, so like, <coughs> we don't think like computers, and computers don't think like us. Mm -hmm. And yet, AI, its specific task is think exactly like humans, please. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, draw like humans, please. Uh, or uh, tell us when humans are sick. Mm -hmm. Or drive like humans. But then it's like, oh, but don't do the mistakes. Don't do the, the bad stuff that humans do, right? Yeah. Is, it, is that what human beings are? Like, if I had to invent about, like, a saying, I'd say, like, to err is human. I, I didn't invent that. But, uh, you know, like, <laughs> but, like. Did you just come up with that one? You know? <laughs> what, what is what is a human being, right? Like, in, in this context, I don't know. Right? I mean, the reality of it, to a certain extent, is, like, we're we're organic machines, you know? Yeah. Neural networks in computer learning, they're called neural networks because they are they work the same way our neurons do, which is basically a bunch of interference patterns, mm -hmm. a bunch of weights on impulses, because just like with machine learning, life, you're given the results and the answers, but yeah. you didn't come up with the programming. It yeah. was, all right, survive. Mm -hmm. You know, if you survive, you pass, if you die, you fail. Yeah. And we're going to kill all the things that don't survive. We're going to keep the things that do survive. Yeah. And that was your machine learning, like, iteration, right? So much of our brains are, are based on, like, fear, right? Mm -hmm. The people who survived were not the ones who were looking up at the stars and being like, oh, wow, that one kind of looks like a guy uh, with an archer sh shoot. Okay, that's a lion. All right, I'm dead. <laughs> you know, like, yep. uh, or like, why are those moving? wandering ones and those aren't you know uh it wasn't until much later uh that we figured it out you know this is like we went from being hunters to being hunter gatherers to creating images of homer simpson 
uh, in The Godfather. You know, I th- there's some other stuff in between, but like, uh, <laughs> I do, yeah. I do have a wacky, wacky out there philosophy. I guess. Oh, that's me. In the, uh, <laughs> I forgot that I signed the. Uh, okay, no, go for it. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, you're I, my wacky out there philosophy yeah. idea. No, you got your little signature on the wall. Yeah, really yeah, yeah. You can you can say it again. I uh, I, <laughs> right. I went ADHD on you. So, you know, often we go on like one wheel rides and we go like to the top of the mountains around LA. Yeah. Sitting on the top of the mountain, looking at the city, and it's like this kind of looks like, like this the cells in a leaf or like you know a lichen you know it's growing on the the ground. And you're looking, it's like there's the arteries. You know, this, the the highways are like the arteries, and they've split into smaller veins and branches, and you have. Mm. You have your nervous system with like, you know, communications and the internet. Oh, yeah, I know so where you're going much. with this. You know, it's like, <laughs> so oh. when you, when you look at a biological system, you have cells and you have like cellular structures and you have like yeah. organ, like you have organs and you have organ systems and like inside, like Nico Perringer is a single living creature. Mm. That's not actually true. Nico Perringer is actually like billions of tiny living creatures yes. called, called cells all working together. Yeah. And they form an entity called Nico, (laughs) you know? Yeah, yeah. And when you kind of step out and you look at society from a bird's eye view, literally on top of a mountain, you start to be like, man, all these people are now just more advanced cells building an advanced system. And that system we're building isn't done yet. We're still building Mm. it. And it's like, is that system we're building just a higher being? Mm. Are we just built like, okay, we've built the systems to feed ourselves now we need to be, build systems to move ourselves around the body. We need yeah. to build systems for us to communicate. We need to build a system for this, you know, new organism to be able to like breathe and eat, et cetera, and you know, process energy and needs yeah. to be able to, you know, communicate with its various parts. And are we now finally building the brain mm. of the system? Mm. Are we as the little cells, you know, building our big organism and like the brain I, is finally getting constructed? I wish I smoked weed. <laughs> right now man i wish i i wish i was high uh that's that's and this is what like all of the galaxies that we have all around us looks like you know like mm-hmm. it, are we going to then become like like a, like a type of whatever civilization right like mm-hmm. that that uses its the energy of its sun you know or, or many suns out there and like but you're right like on earth are we we're just the red blood cells of right. a bigger creature, so to speak. And yeah, I, yeah, uh, obviously, I like technically speaking, a creature. Like, I get it, I get it. It's a concept, right? But still, it's a concept. Yeah, yeah, no, but it's a great concept because, like, you know, I think a, a, a lot of us we are so anthropocentric, right? We are very much like the Earth is here for the taking, mm-hmm. and I will take whatever I, I should. And if we're the brain, then. It is our duty to to keep this earth mm-hmm. uh, safe, to keep our, you know, to like, we want to be saved, you know, like mm-hmm. the brain, like the, there's so much that your body does to save your brain, mm-hmm. right? And your heart, like whenever you're, you're like when you're cold, your fingers start to hurt because it, we can lose those and survive, mm-hmm. you know, keep this, keep this going, you know, you don't want to pass out. Um, so, you know, like. When that's the case and we see ourselves as the brain of this earth, then yeah, I, I do see how we, we start getting to responsibility of humankind, you know, and, and how, the, uh, you know, I'm at least the kind of person who thinks we're going to become Star Trek mm-hmm. and not uh, Mad Max Fury Road. Yeah, I, I'd agree As, as good as that movie assuming, was. Assuming yeah. that resources on the planet don't run out, but doesn't, I don't think that's the case. I think we're... We'll figure it out. Okay. We'll have yeah. AI figure it out for us while we're making images... Yeah. We're watching our our, our movies, <laughs> yeah. you know, or like writing our, our Harley Davidsons, I guess. Uh, <laughs> our yeah. iPhone Harley Davidsons. Our iPhone Harley. Yeah. Do and you think we're that we're already kind of figuring it out? Like we're in the process. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that there is going to be a, a a period in between of of hurt where oh, always. A, a a lot of people who hire people are going to be hiring machines instead? Actually, I mean, jobs always go out of date. Right. Sure. What technology moves forward and that puts jobs out of date. It doesn't mean that as you have taking a net loss on jobs necessarily. Mm. I'm sure some people are going to come in. They're going to be like, well, but generally speaking, technology moves forward and it empowers people to have more output. Mm. And when you have more output, it actually creates more demand for things. Mm-hmm. When it's like, oh, clothes can be cheap. Suddenly, more people want clothes. Right now, more people can afford clothes. Right. Oh, art's cheap. More people want art. Mm. It's easy to make art. 
more people are going to make art. It's, it doesn't work the opposite. It's like, oh, art's cheap, and now you can just do it as a snap of the fingers. Well, I'm not going to take any more art then, except mm. for one movie a year. It's like, no. If you could watch the perfect movie every night starring you and your friends, yes, like it'd be like video games, right? Right. It's, yeah. it's you get into it, and suddenly like, it's like, give me more, give me oh more. Oh my god, I didn't, I didn't think of that. Like you're absolutely right. Like starring you and your friends, right? Like yeah. we live vicariously through whatever you know like mm -hmm. if there's a a generative movie or, or whatever that move that term is going to be so outdated <laughs> but you know like there's a generative piece of oh god content i'm not gonna say content i hate that uh <laughs> you're watching something on something right yeah. like it's either in your eyes or in the screen if we want to be like oh, oh let's be old school and watch it on the screen <laughs> uh and you know uh, you get to sit down with your friends and like the jokes that you made uh, yeah. that you make are the jokes that that guy makes you know and like there's like a funny like in joke that uh, you know we do that anyway we live vicariously through actors and actresses and 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 things like oh i, I want to be that person i want to be iron man i want to be this mm -hmm. when you can see yourself in it you know that's pretty freaking cool yeah right? and we're definitely like moving towards a like subjective narrative society yeah it's like you are going to be the narrative that you want. I mean, you kind of, we all kind of are, right? You go to college, you reinvent yourself, right? Yeah. You can be a different person in college than you were in high school. Yeah. That's just, that's the same thing, except now it's like I, online, I'm going to look like this, I'm going to sound like this, I'm going to act like this. Mm. You know, I can be whatever I want, whoever I want, I can have whatever backstory I want. Who are you to tell me yeah. how I should feel? You know, it's like, why aren't my emotions valid? I am now this. Yeah. And that's the society we're kind of already in, you know, like people are very pushing to like accept that. Yeah. But that's kind of the human condition, you know? Sure. So it's it's very... You got into philosophy really fast. Yeah. Uh, what about when humans are... Uh, if you got to go, you got to go. You let me know. No, no. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, the, the podcast is so nice. long. So, I, it's worth mentioning <laughs> that we have been, had a Discord yeah. <laughs> that we set up like Secret four days Discord, ago. Yes. So we could talk about all this AI stuff. And now yeah. we get to finally talk in person. <laughs> right. So like <laughs> so, we're very excited about yeah. this as some <laughs> people out there are also... What about when human beings are a liability in the system? You're talking about how it's like increasing output, right? Mm -hmm. When it's like, no, 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 don't, don't drive. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, yeah, actually, we're gonna don't. ban driving or, or you know, <laughs> surgery by a human being. What is this? The 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 2010s, the 2020s? <laughs> Jesus, no, oh, no, 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 don't do that. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, like, they're gonna get removed out of it. Yeah. Like, but what it comes down to, it's like, you go back to the artist thing, right? Like, okay, let's get out of the, like, you know, who, what's going to happen in the future? It's like, to right now. Right. You are, let's, you're a concept artist. You're working in the film industry. Oh, boy. What else do you do? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like, so right now, <laughs> now there is literally a tool that just came out that can replace you. Kind of, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's not replacing you. It's, it's not a yet. tool. It's like, if you are a concept artist and you refuse to learn Photoshop, yeah. You're going to fall off the train. Yes. If you're a concept artist now and you don't use any of these AI tools, you're going to fall off the train. They aren't replacing you. It's just a new tool set and you have to learn how to use it. It's it's a way for you to, I mean, you can train it on your own style. You can do it eventually. Like what, when this comes out, it's all going to be like, we know this. What do, what do you mean? You yeah. know, everyone's going to be like, oh, we've, we've been on this app for 24 hours. What do you mean? Like, you know. Yeah. But it's um, like being, you know, yeah. some photographers, like I shoot film. It's like, well, you better learn how to use the Alexa. Oh, no, that's right? that's done, man. What's going to happen is we're going to have like some sort of capture. Right. And I've been talking to VFX people about this. Yeah. Capturing system, right? It's not going to be LiDAR. That's too slow. But like some sort of like camera, these cameras, right? All around. And then sets are going to become like place, right? Yeah. Like where I'm like, okay, let's just go ahead. And we're not going to set up a thing over here. And it's like, hey, actually, when you read the, when you look at the the picture, can you actually look at it like this? You know, the, go ahead. I'm, I'm about to ruin movies for you. <laughs> you know, whenever you see a movie, like the amount of people who hold Stuff like this, you know, it's like, oh, this image that I care very much about. But like, whole, why? Why? Because this way, it makes sense for you to be able to see it. Whoops. <laughs> for you to be able to see it. So like it, that kind of stuff, like it won't be necessary anymore because yeah. I'll just be able to move their hands in, in post, right? Or move the camera or like do something. Well, you showed me the test you're doing uh, yeah. with Sylvester Stallone. Yeah. We trained. So... No, oh, no, I, I didn't do it. It was someone else. But oh, yeah. else this. Okay, so yeah, yeah. You know, we're talking about stable diffusion here, but whatever. I'm gonna all these AI image generation systems. I'm just gonna say they're the same. They're not. Yeah. I'm just gonna say they are. I'm gonna piss off everybody who actually works on them. Right. They're all like, kind of the same. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so somebody's like, 
Well, you can type in Sylvester Stallone. It gives you a weird kind of goofy picture of Sylvester Stallone. But he kind of looks like him. Like, you know, it's like it's the character caricature of him, right? It's the defining yeah. features. But they're kind of wobbly and weird and gooby. Yeah. And so because like, it's well, got Rocky. He's got Rocky. And it's got like na- now Sylvester is so yeah. like older Sylvester. So it's like it doesn't know how old he is and doesn't know. And when yeah. you ask for like 30 year old Sylvester Stallone, it doesn't give you yet. It will in like two days. <laughs> it doesn't give you like 30 year old, like he looks like Rocky. Mm-hmm. It gives you like uh, uh, what 30 year old men look like plus Sylvester Stallone. So yeah, yeah it's wonky, right? Yeah. 100%. But, but then somebody's like, well, let me just train it a little bit more. And so on specifically on Sylvester Stallone, like clearly Sylvester Stallone exists in the cultural site, guys. He exists in the mall. You can type in his name. It's like, let me just make a couple extra pictures and just explicitly do a little more training on Sylvester Stallone. Like 10 pictures maybe of him. Just use yeah. 10 more, right? And then when it goes, okay, give me a picture of Sylvester Stallone now. Once that little extra bit of training is done, it's like, whoa, that looks exactly like him. And here's a different angle. And here's a different angle. Yeah. And the thing is like, it's just taking like, okay, yeah, I have like 10 pictures of Sylvester Stallone, but in my mind, I literally have a billion pictures of everything. So I can fill in the gaps. Yeah. Oh, I, can, I can't see the back of his head. I can guess. He has black hair. Let me guess. The hair on the back of his head is also black. It's like <laughs> it can the, the, this, the system's doing that. And yeah. it's, it's the way that I got your hair, man. Yeah. Like, in the, the little test like, that we did. It's yeah. the same thing. Like, yeah, other people have hair like the system can fill in what my hair looks like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, as long as it as long as it sees a picture, it's like, OK, I can I can BS my way through every other picture now. Right. Which is basically how it works. And so it's like it really is BSing its way. Like, it is. Th- th- it's, it's like a college student that like figured out just enough amount of work that it's got to mm-hmm. do. You know, like Exa- I mean, that's the human way. That's the it's like <laughs> it is sentient. It's a human. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it's a person. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that the thing is like so okay now it comes to like movies or picture books or whatever it's like yeah. well i don't need to record a scene with sylvester stallone i'll record a scene with my buddy and i'll like i'll roughly get it kind of right and i'll say well you know here's a guy make that sylvester stallone it's yeah. like and clearly you can do it you can put out perfect pictures from now so Rogue we'll just put the picture in here yeah, Rogue One. That's what it was, right? Uh, and that took like a lot of artists, a lot of work, a lot of time. Yeah, um, and it's not gonna anymore. Uh, no, no. Uh, or like, uh, uh, gosh, uh, uh, the the Irishman, right? Yep. The Irishman, the the Pull on three cameras. Oh my Real time three D scanning. So, and it didn't look super perfect because we weren't quite there yet, right? Not there yet. Now I can do it. Yeah. Right. And, and you guys like you just type it in. Fixed it up with like deep fake stuff. Yeah, you know, deep fake is old news now too. And like, but that's the example. Yeah. Like a deep fake is like a hyper specific version of like one of these I- image generators. Yeah. But instead of training a deep fake, what if you just train a deep fake on all the pictures of everything in the entire world? Right. And you said, give me a picture of this box or yeah. of Sylvester Stallone or of a cat. Yeah. It's like, well, I'll just deep fake that because I roughly know what cats look like. And yeah. Like, okay, but specifically here's ten pictures of my cat. It's yeah. like, okay, I can fill in the details, but. Now I can draw your cat perfectly from every angle. Yeah. And if I can draw your cat perfectly from every angle, well, you can literally just make a movie and you never have to touch a camera. Or you can touch a camera and I'll just use that as a guide for where I'll put everything. Yeah, you, I know that you said it like this, you know, and, and I'll be able to like <laughs> stretch out. It's animation, right? Yeah. Like uh, animation does that so well, but animation is going to become photorealistic, right? Yeah. Um, and granted, we still ride horses today you know like yeah. we still listen to music we still go to orchestras i have a painting of uh a, like a pretty kind of sort of like photorealistic um uh jar of colored pencils mm-hmm. right and i i love that painting and and it's like the it's hung up in my house mm-hmm. i can make that painting real fast right now but it's <laughs> hung up in my house because i can picture the person like being like i'm just gonna do that i'm just gonna do yeah. that right there Right. And, mm-hmm. and start, or took a picture of it and then worked from the picture probably. Uh, but that's okay because like I can see the, the brush strokes and I know that there's a human in there. Mm-hmm. Right. And I love that. And I, I hear what Sam, like I'm, I'm, I'm I think I'm, I'm, it's the seat. You need to move them. <laughs> you know? It's, it's, this becomes a detractor. If, if I had that emotion of like imagining that person toiling over this painting and then like, you know, like selling it and like making a living doing that. Like what an amazing thing that this person has done. If you had told me then, it's like, oh, actually, no, it was a machine that went like, <laughs> you know, like a, like yeah. an automation machine that did it. It would feel lesser then. 
mm-hmm. you know, or like, for example, some, uh, you know, there's some historical pictures that may be released of something that happened that was horrific that happened like years and years ago. And people are like, they don't trust this guy who's like a pawn shop guy who's like, I found pictures of this thing, right? Mm -hmm. This like horrible historical event. Um, If those pictures are released and, you know, it makes a splash, but then it comes out that like in a year that's like, oh, actually we have like an AI checker thing and those pictures were fake. That would, even though that might actually have happened and have been close, eh, I don't know. You know, yeah. there are all these questions. Like, I can very easily catfish somebody right now. You know, I can just use an image to image with like not that high strength and say, that's not Joe <laughs> Penna, that's Jamie Dornan. You know, uh, actually, no, he's a little stronger. So, like, all I can have a real good looking Tinder. That, uh, I don't, thankfully, I'm married. I'm happily married. I don't want to get into Tinder because now <laughs> I, I don't know who I'm going to trust yeah. out there anymore. You know, like it, it, it's just, I don't know, man. I don't know. Like there are problems with it, with biases and like ethics and like, how do you fix it? Do you, you have to make an effort to fix it, I think. Yeah. But what is that effort? Right. That's a very good question. Because like the other thing too is like, you see these incredibly powerful technologies coming out and it was like, this is going to change the world. It's like, okay, well do it. Yeah. It's like, oh, you actually want me to do that right now? Like, yeah, change the world. Like as in like, this is powerful. So where's the software? So it was right here. It's like you that Python code. No, no, no. Where's the software? Like, yes, you know, yes. where's my tools? Right. Yeah. And the big thing I've been seeing, like, so with stable diffusion, you know, they, they released everything, all the code, the model, yeah. and it's been incredible. The amount of tools that have been coming out where yeah. people are just making stuff and then going like, Oh, let's do it like this. This might be useful. Yeah. And then a thousand people, 10,000 people use like that. They're like, okay, actually we like this feature. And it's like, Oh, okay. Well, I'll add that feature. Yeah, And like suddenly we've seen what would probably take companies months, if not like a year to put out. It's like happened literally in two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, so it's, fast. it's bonkers. But then you step back and you go like, wait a minute. If this is how open source is happening around machine learning and so much of machine learning is open source. Yeah. So much as if it is built on open source. Yeah. It's kind of like what's going to happen to all these like software companies and corporations? Like what's going to happen to Adobe? Mm. Because... Or heck, even or what's, what's going to happen to like three D programs like Microsoft, Octane yes. render, Unreal Engine? Like, you know, obviously there's more to Unreal Engine than just the renderer, but it's like you know, so many people worked so hard yeah. to make Unreal Engine five be able to render what it can render in like yeah. a crazy lighting system. It's like, or I just have an AI that <laughs> knows how to paint photorealistic things, like just like a human being. You can train yeah. a human being to draw a photo and paint photorealistic sure. things. Like, so here's the rough geometry, make it look real, and it goes okay, and it just makes yeah. it look real. And it makes it consistent. And it's like, and I don't need to do any rendering. I don't need to do any math. I don't need to like have photons be calculated and shadows be calculated and like, you know, various surface materials because. So you need to calculate its precise location on the latent space. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give me the XY coordinates of the latent space. Uh, oh, you're using a two dimensional latent space, man. That's so 24 right. hours That's, ago, my dude. It's multidimensional. Like, there's 64 vectors that you got to use at least, <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. No. Um, you're right. Like it's. Uh, it's. I think it's very dependent on what you think of Twitter, in a way, mm-hmm. right? Like, if you think that Twitter was a boon for humanity versus, and, and make up your mind, viewers at home, you know, or listeners at home, please listen. I, I don't know which one you make more money on. That's okay. Uh, okay. It was, it was just as, I just wanted to be here with us. If you're here with us, just just close your eyes and and, and make a judgment call right unless now. Unless you have aphasia. Do you? Uh, unless, all right. Just <laughs> or at least just the, you know if, if if you can't picture it, just just imagine the words of like, is Twitter good or bad for society? <laughs> you know, and yeah. whether or not whether I can I can I I can destroy whatever answer you pick mm-hmm. because if you say it's bad, I say, well, what about Arab Spring? What about like? The fact that that it used to be the the, the uh, you know it's, uh, all of these things right like mm-hmm. that Twitter is great you know like it's giving people who don't have privileged voices or privileged like stances like a it's voice people connect easier connect easier know, yeah. people how about all people who fell in love through Twitter the people who like uh, who are talking to uh, researchers for AI who used to be YouTubers and now are, are filmmakers who now get to say like excuse me uh, thank you for saying that you've been watching all my videos for a long time. Uh, I really need help with this Python, though. Uh, <laughs> like, what, what about all that, right? Yeah. But then if you said, no, 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 it's good. It's great. Okay, what about all the bad stuff? What yeah. about the fact that, like, or, or Facebook or things like that, you know? Like, they literally, there's that one test that they made that they only showed people 
angry things. Did yeah. you see that? Or like mm -hmm. sad things. And it made yep. people post sad things. Which is completely against the ethics of psychological studies. Right? <laughs> like, you're literally yeah. trying to... For, uh, but did they know that that's what was going to happen? I mean, they should have guessed, I yeah. guess. You don't, you, know? do, you don't do uh, negative... Who knows? Uh, well, I'm misusing the term negative for a test here, but you don't you do negative results without letting your participants be informed. Right. It's like right. It's hundred percent against the ethics of but, yeah. but was but it Facebook, was it know? buried in the TOS somewhere, you know? Like the terms <laughs> of service that Facebook may purposely make you unhappy. Yeah. Uh, you know, like uh or Instagram. Like people talk about all that stuff, you know. So like whenever you take all of that into account, you know, you can see that Twitter, Facebook, Web 2.0 is a tool that can be used for good and bad, mm -hmm. right? It can get Trump elected. It can it can uh, it can get people's tweets out of Ukraine. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it can it can do both, right? But oh, did I say I get, I'm getting political? Sorry, I got political <laughs> there. I didn't realize I got political. I, I thought it was kind of uh, it's okay. Just oh well. Uh, I don't think it's a hot take to say that Trump's an asshole. Oh, is it not? Okay, good. <laughs> Trump's an asshole. Uh, uh, you, know, he, you disagree? Whatever. Yeah, you disagree. Sorry, guys. Like we're in LA. What? 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 We just was. I'm not discourse. We're having a discussion. Uh, so the stable diffusion AI generative images are going to be the same thing, right? Uh, and who owns OpenAI? It's Reed Hoffman and Elon Musk, two multi billionaires, right? Mm -hmm. um, is that bad? Is that good? I think it's I think it's good because then they can put some money into something that can, whatever, right? The way that I saw it said about stable diffusion was, and about the AI in general is, it's bad, really bad for a small number of people. You're a concept artist. Woo! Like learn how to use this for now, you know. Like so, you can you can extend how long you're gonna be working. But what else? You, what else you got? What else you can do? You know? <laughs> it, you're uh, it, you know, with music, what's coming that up? This the dance diffusion or whatever. You know, I'm seeing some stuff that like I, I'm gonna load all my stuff into it, and, and maybe I'll make YouTube videos again because mm -hmm. it's gonna be so easy. You know, like eventually, it's going to be a better artist than all of us, right? Mm -hmm. It, so it, the art, the people of us, the subset of people of us that are artists that are better than the other ones, that's bad for them, but it's better for, it's great for everyone else, mm -hmm. right? If you believe that that the, everyone being able to be an artist is great, mm -hmm. right? Some some detractors don't, some Luddites <laughs> don't, you know? Uh, and now, you know, he's right. He's got a lot of good points, right? So who knows? Um I think that it's exciting to be at the forefront. And I do think that we should check each other on how much we sleep. Yes. Uh, we need to sleep, get a full eight hours. Well, not until not until we finish the training. No, uh, after right. we no, do the training and, and then... I want to check to make sure that the training's running. Yeah. First. Let's, let's make sure. And then, and then we can go to sleep. Yeah. But the, you have to do have to set an alarm every 10 minutes and, and make sure the training's going well. Right. Or right. just train an AI. Well, it takes 15 minutes. Check. So you just give me, send me your pictures and... You got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man this is fascinating yeah let's go figure out how to ai can tell uh when we got cancer and then we're good yeah done i thought they had dogs that could like smell cancer dogs are old hat you're right those are bad machines now they have florida executive houses floridian uh, uh, drone views of floridian <laughs> executive homes Yes. We need the opposite of, of, the opposite of dogs, dogs that can smell cancer, which is yep. Floridian executor home. But instead of blow up mattresses on a driveway, they have, I don't know, I'll ask GPT-3. <laughs> I'll ask yeah. us and NLP the for the, the perfect end of that joke. <laughs> you let us know in the comments down below, like if you're listening to someone that has comments, what, what AI told you the end of that joke was going to be. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Last thing here, I think, to wrap this up. So... Chances are people are listening to this and a bunch of people probably know about mid journey and people have used it, but let's go into just a moment here of like, Hey, you listening right now, you want to get in on this AI train. Here's what you do. All right. First, don't, don't do it. It's not worth it. Uh, <laughs> it's it's right, just the, just we'll, we'll figure it out for you and, yeah. and just please get out, get out of our space. Yeah. Like we those gates the are only shut ones. Yeah. and we're keeping it that way. <laughs> no, specifically, um, you want to dabble and you want things to look pretty right off the bat, check out the Mid Journey Discord. Uh, literally sign up to the Discord channel, read the introduction thing, follow the instructions, and you'll start making images. But you're probably going to realize that, A, it's kind of slow. You can only get one or two images mm -hmm. every minute or so. And two, eventually you have to start paying for it. Um, but you know what? Probably worth it, especially when you're experimenting. 
but the slowness can be a thing. Midgerty is just going to give you really pretty pictures all the time. It's well, that's because cool. of the full clip guidance. You know, like at least you're not going to get some some like doubles or anything like that. But the, <laughs> but the fact that it's full clip full clip guidance so with all the vectors and all that, anyway, uh, <laughs> let's not get into stochastic training. Go ahead. So let's say you want to go a little bit deeper. This is where you should probably check out stable diffusion. Yeah. If you have like a decent GPU, um, like we're talking like 2080 or above, arguably even like slower GPUs can handle it finally if you get the optimized versions. But if you have a decent GPU and you want to sit down and learn a little bit of Python code and learning how to use like Anaconda, it's worth checking out. Um, there's a bunch of different repos. You can go to the stable diffusion subreddit, r slash stable diffusion, the top FAQ. How do I run this? There's a bunch of links there. There's a bunch of different options to get you started. You can get it running on your own computer, meaning you it's free. You can generate as many images as you want. You can make literally whatever you want. Uh, so please be responsible. <laughs> um, but you can get it running on your own system and you can make it happen. And if you want to use Stable Diffusion without running it on your computer, they have their own like web based interface. Dream Studio. Dream yeah, Studio. Yeah. Yep. Ooh, um, one thing you gotta remember is that anytime you ask for anything, you are warming up the earth a little bit. So just <laughs> remember that. You know? Like just just remember there are these really big GPUs that are going juice, juice, juice. So so you know, use it wisely. And yeah. your wallet also would appreciate it. Yes. Yeah. But uh definitely check those things out. Um the stuff that we've been talking about is like textual inversion. Um Yes. Dream booth, uh, fine tuning models. That's where you can start like adding characters, adding people to these models that didn't already exist in them. Uh, it's worth exploring. If you're an um, artist, you can load in all your work. And, and what's amazing is that uh, the number one question I, I get asked by artists is when I load in all of my pictures, will then everybody be able to like use my style? And the answer is no. Right. The answer is like when when you do this training on your own uh, computer or whatever it may be, or you can use Google Colab and, and and things where you can you know pay a small monthly fee to um, to to do the training with their stuff. You know, um, it, you will be the only person that has that file, right? Mm -hmm. And yep. unless you share that file, that training, then you're you're fine. Yep. So I will say. If you relied on many other people to teach you, yes, you relied on many other people to share their projects and their code. Right. If you give nothing back, that's arguably selfish. And arguably, it is. It's selfish. It's selfish. It's one hundred percent selfish. If you learn from the openness of others, be open yourself and share it. Because that's what's that's how we even got here in the first place. So, yeah, check that stuff to out. To be human is to share. To be human is to share. Do computers share? We don't know. What is it? What, is, what, it? Is, what uh, is it to be human? I don't know. To err is to be human. To forgive is to be divine. To yeah. Uh, uh, to err is human. Uh, uh, forgive. Yeah. To forgive is is, yeah, is divine. divine. Yeah, something like yeah. that. Yeah, you're right. So if you do, if you don't Thanks, share, Byron, we'll forgive you because we're we'll be divine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that was so good. That was so good. <laughs> if you had only said it in the Sam voice, that would have been perfect. True. Yeah, yeah, well, I can't replicate that. Well, I can replicate <laughs> his voice, so I make an AI model of it first. So we haven't That's done it. that yet. You have plenty of plenty of it, right? You can generate them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're actually there's a service that's this close. So like, just give us like two minutes of somebody's voice, and we'll duplicate it for you. Yeah, right. Yeah. That, that, that already We're pretty much already there, exists. So. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. Well, oh, man. I'm really excited to mess around with the uh, model fine tuning. Yeah. This battery requires 38 gigabytes of VRAM. Uh, because for now. Yeah, it means that I have to take one of the computers the guys are using on Son of a Dungeon yeah. <laughs> and be like, "Get off! <laughs> I need to make cool pictures of me." You can rent those computers, right? Can't you rent those? Yeah, no. Yeah. You can rent them. You can rent them. Yeah. No, like like uh, online rentals. Oh, right, right. I mean, right. if somebody else wants to, well, yeah. I mean, if you don't have a nice computer, you can look at like doing collab or computer. Or run pod run is pod. is one where you know literally you have like a com a computer on yeah. on your desktop. Yeah. And aren't those like pretty solid GPUs that they're running on? A100s. Oof. All right. You can get multiple A100s. I don't know how to use multiple A100s, but you can get multiple. Yeah. It's like a dollar and change every hour. That's really not that bad. For a, what, a, how much a does it cost? It's worth mentioning A100s are like the best GPU you can get right now. What is a GPU? GPU, graphics processing unit. Mm. Oh, but I'm not doing graphics. I'm doing AI. Well, that's because what's on a GPU is really just meant to crunch math. It's not meant to run scripts, which is like what a CPU is meant for. Mm. It's meant to just crunch math. Right. And it just so happens that machine learning models 
under the hood is just millions and millions of very basic multiplications that are happening. So GPU can do that uh, very fast. And I think it's a better use than trying to just do fake math to let somebody pay for their drugs on Silk Road. You know? <laughs> That's true. I think it's a better use is to to make Homer Simpson in in the style of Hiyao Miyazaki. But what if you take Homer Simpson and you put him into Dragon Ball Z and then you turn that into an NFT so that way you're hitting both worlds at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> We're doomed as a society, as human beings. We're going to have yes. to have... Well, AI can take over as the brain. Well, once we're all solar our... and like fusion powered and like energy is free again. Yeah, yeah, that'll yeah. be fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All righty. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, we got others here. Yeah, come on in. Yeah. So, anyways, in oh, a few boy. weeks. Uh... <laughs> I'm jumping in on your yes, conversation. Yes, please. What's up? <laughs> Technically, that microphone over there is the one. <laughs> Christian's got to go. <laughs> oh, you gotta go. Home. I was just coming to say hi. <laughs> I was just coming to say hi. <laughs> outro. Hey, I'll do the outro for you guys. Hey, dude, yes. it's been a while, man. Good How are you doing? See you. Yeah. Hello, hello, and goodbye, everyone. Three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> oh, God. I don't know which one is working. All right, I'm giving you a real outro. All right. Everybody, this world is moving really fast right now. Like, the tools have changed so fast. Literally every day, something new is coming out that is totally changing our workflow around this. Super exciting. Let's all stay on this ride together. Uh, Joe, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Jeez, you just showed up out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm I'm very much so looking forward to listening to this podcast. Uh, I'm, yeah. What do, I'm what like do you think it's about? I'm on the fringes of all of this stuff right now. I'm like, oh, you know what it's about. I'm not in your guys' private Discord server, but nah. I, I get like rumors of it all the time. So. You need an application. This <laughs> yeah. Is, <laughs> Christian, you got to join us too. Red, oh my gosh, Red, you got to. Oh, oh my God, dude, that's I, That's dope. just a drawing of Nico Perringer. In the style of somebody who does not like AI. On purpose, we did it like that. <laughs> but wait, did it? Is there any like image to image going on here, or is no. it just like it just new? Yeah, it just new. I taught well, it. Yeah, you, you, yeah, I taught it. Oh, you taught. It. Okay, okay. So there's some training but involved. Okay, I taught it. I taught it to do that. It's like it just does you're it like now. a proud dad. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, this is great. Joe, thank you so much for visiting us. Everybody, thank, thank you so much for me. listening. Uh, we're gonna be doing a probably a stable diffusion based experiment video for the quarter crew channel on Friday. Oh, uh, it'll obviously come out in like a week or so after we make it. Um, are you gonna force me to drive all the way back to down to LA again? You, I live in Santa Barbara. You live in Santa Barbara? Did you really? I drove two and a half hours for this podcast. Did because you? No, I, you did. I, did I, I you? Did. And that was two hours. Wow. Yeah, but I'm excited about talking about this stuff. <laughs> I'm excited to see my buddies. I took a COVID test before I came. <laughs> And you're positive. Thanks for coming. <laughs> uh, it won't be a podcast for a while, probably. <laughs> it's cool. We already uh, had it like yeah. a few weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for listening, everybody. We'll see you in another one. Uh, maybe the next one we'll just talk about like, I don't know, like Le Legos or, pu or puppies, puppies. puppies. Puppies in Florida. Puppies in Florida. Puppies yeah. in Florida. Yep. You'll get it when you listen to the podcast, Ren. Okay. All right. I'm excited. Bye, everybody.